All right, we're going live. Hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, hello and welcome. I see we have William Shakespeareberg in the chat. Hopefully the volume well, is coming through okay. Yeah, we've got William Shakespeareberg in the chat. We have Rod Thunderheart doing, in the chat. Rod Thunderheart is gr gracious enough to uh, co-hosting. So thanks for being here, Rod. I really appreciate it. No, thanks for wow. Like this, I'm, I've been. This is the kind of stream I've been waiting to, you know, to be able to yammer on for ages now. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Cuba, and I know you are too. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, William Shakespeareberg. Hello to you, sir, and uh, Miskatonic uh, Madman. Hello. We're gonna do uh, welcome to Thursday night travel talk with Spidey. And we're going to, I try and have people on who are at least enthusiastic about Cuba. I'm pretty sure the cat is enthusiastic about, about Cuba. Yep. And, cat uh, Rod, <laughs> yeah. Rod is enthusiastic about Cuba. And uh, yeah, just uh, thanks for being here, everybody. Um, I spent just under two weeks in Cuba. Uh, and uh, Rod, have you been there more than once or twice? No, I've been there at least three times. Uh, three times. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, beautiful. All right. I'm gonna say at least times. <laughs> so, so between but, the two of us, yeah. we're certainly not experts, but we have a good uh, idea of, of what you might like to see in in Cuba, and what to do. Yes, and, and what to do exactly. And uh, do you mind reading, uh, if you can, uh, see that Rod uh, from Christopher Dominguez? Oh, he's just saying hi to everybody. Hey, old Canadian Spider-Man, Rod Thunderheart, William Shakespeareberg, and Miskatonic Madman. Yeah, good to see you here, uh, Christopher Dominguez, pop culture curator. Hello. Hey, good to see you. And, and I do uh, pop culture. Susan Dolan as well. Hey, thanks for being here, Susan. Susan Dolan. Uh, yep, we're uh, we're going to talk about Cuba. All right. So I've got ooh, uh, not that many. I didn't take that many photos. I probably got less than fifty photos. And uh, and Rod, you've got a little more than that, and uh, yeah, about a yeah uh, about a hundred photos more or less, and we'll just go through them. We'll start. Uh, uh, I've got them in order, so we'll start with mine, and and we'll discuss them, sure. and then and then we'll uh, go on to Rod's. And, and Rod, absolutely anything you see in my photos, please feel free to comment and throw in your your color commentary, and and I will do the same. Gotcha. Max Hedrum. GPT. Now, now here's an actual comment. Would you mind reading this, Rod, if you can, if you can see it? Cuban auto mechanics will have solid jobs in the future. Mo meanwhile, most of the Americans will be laid off due to AI, even though even the cashiers at McDonald's are already going away as we speak. Absolutely. That That is, yep, that is a true, a true thing. And 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 why and why does he mention auto mechanics in Cuba, Rod? Why why does Max Hedrum chat, uh, uh, GPT uh, say? It sounds like you know, but I'm so I'm gonna t I'm gonna say, and that is that uh, yeah. um, there's a Cuban way of doing things, and it's a lot of times it's you know what I mean because some cars are not on the surface they look okay, but Underneath might be, say, a boat motor, you know, or something. Yep. And they do anything they can to jury rig uh, the the, uh, the jalopy, shall we say, together, and to make sure that it runs. And it it does. And I'll have to say, like, in I'm you know, I mean, okay, I'm not stupid. I know that there's gonna there's probably gonna there's probably some that are just kind of go. Oh. Why did they try to put this together? You know, but for the most part, the cars there are just absolutely beautiful. And it's just really honestly amazing that the family, you know, I mean, that's, and that's another thing. The car, if you had, a, if your grandpa had a car, you know, uh, that was basically your family heirloom, you know, that was passed down yeah. to, um, yep. you know, I mean, yeah, I mean. Because if of trade you, restrictions with the rest of the world, they weren't allowed to import any cars. So the ones they had, they had to, after 1959, yes, they had to run them forever. They couldn't get new cars, mm -hmm. so they had to, kind of like New Brunswick on the East Coast, man. We didn't have money for new parts, <laughs> so we just 
you just get the car to keep running however however you can and yeah yeah and so the last cars they were able to import were these clat what we consider classic cars from the 50s and 60s and they've just kept them That's running right. some of them with boat right. motors uh, but i've got some some wonderful photos of these cars and and, and so do you rod I, I i was looking at yeah. your photos as well i took a sneak yeah. peek of, of what you uh, send me so let's let's get right into it shall we sure all right. Let's do it. All right, there we go. There's a flying now flying to Cuba from Canada is, is quite easy. Uh, that's Toronto, folks. You can see the white uh, circle is the Sky Dome, and then the tall needle mm -hmm. right beside, right at part oh, of, of course. the white, uh, bubble is the CN Tower, folks. So that's uh, Toronto uh, flying to Cuba. It's a uh, now, from New Brunswick, I know we fly to, you know, when I was there, we fly to Toronto. And then from Toronto to Cuba is, um, I want to say, about three hours. It's it's surprisingly, maybe three and a half. It wasn't that bad, Rod. Not that bad. Yeah, it's only about three and a half. I know, because yeah, I've been, uh, you know, yeah. a couple times. And then yeah. other times, there's one other time I was able to, uh, yeah, I was able to hop a flight straight from Calgary to Cuba. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that that's nice. I, I like the I like the straight shots. And we are gonna keep up with the chat because I'm I need to do better. Uh that is my weakness, one of my many weaknesses. And so I'm gonna keep up with the chat here. And hey, look who's you here. need Matt to do D. better, Senator. I can do better. Hey Matt D, <laughs> good to see you. Uh nah, oh. never mind. Yeah, the man. um <laughs> oh, I, we can talk about politics on this channel, we can talk about anything. I, I don't I don't imagine YouTube will ever monetize me for what I've talked about and put on my streams. Um, so that is uh, landing in uh, in uh, Veradero, uh, Veradero, Cuba. That is what Cuba looks like from the air. And uh, no, sorry, that was Havana. That that's going into Havana. Sorry, we landed in Havana and then took the bus. Oh, so uh, I landed in Havana and then we took the bus to Veradero and then back. I want to believe. Yep. That. <laughs> Is apparently the office building where uh, that? No, where, that's the that's the monument, sir. The, okay, the monument to uh, to Castro. Yeah, I, the, I well, the, well, the re, monument to the Revolucion. Right. Yeah, I was I was told may, maybe the translation wasn't correct, but I was told he had a, uh, an office in there. Maybe it meant a space, like a, a memorial, or it a, might. I'm he sure, might. He, you never know. And, and and yeah, the guy tried to tell me that he lives in there, but I didn't I didn't believe that part. I wasn't sure whether to believe that. <laughs> maybe maybe you have an opinion on that, but that is downtown Havana, and that is the monument to the Revolution. Well, that's and, Revolution. Uh, that's in Revolution Square. Yeah, there you go. And and Direct, I'm, directly behind you is the two iron sculptures of uh, of um, mm -hmm. uh, they're on the building. Uh, yes, they uh, are. Uh, che Guevara and. Yep. Uh, uh, some people say it's Fidel, but it's not. It's, it's not actually. It's a religious yeah. figure. No, no, it's no, no. It's oh, that, uh, that was... he wore. Nope. It's uh, he. Uh, no, and that's not a halo. That's a cowboy hat. Oh shit! Um, okay, I thought it was a religious person. Okay, but yeah, we've got photos of those buildings. I have photos of those buildings, but um, you, yours are better. So I, I've got yours. Uh, yours are much better yeah. than mine. Uh, so here in Cuba, like similar to the cars. Because Cuba is communist, uh, there's a lot of trade restrictions, so they can't get new um, cars, they, and they can't get new and just Yes, I understand, but uh, they like to yep. be called socialists. You can you can ask them that next time. I don't there. care. They are communist. They absolutely are communist. They're listed. They started off. Yes, they started communist. off that way, but I mean, ultimately, you know, but. There are four communist countries in the world. North Korea and Cuba is one of them, according to the internet. Uh, and North Korea is doesn't, surprisingly enough, doesn't count as communist because it's a totalitarian regime. There's one dude. I don't know how that works. That anyway, I agree with, yes. They are somewhere between extreme socialist and communist. Definitely, and that's the reason that why there were trade restrictions. So they don't have new sports equipment. So these boys are well, using it... a chair, a chair nailed to the door. And they've punched the seat out of the chair, and they're just using that for a basketball net. <laughs> huh. 
So that that was pretty funny. Well, the chair, unfortunately, is the same color as the door. But uh, trust me, there's a chair nailed yeah. to the door. Well, it really came down to simply the trade restrictions because once uh, what happened was when yeah. Fidel, when Castro took over in the Revolution, he kicked out the all the American uh, corporations, and they hated him for that. They hated him. Yeah, so much. absolutely. Yeah. And and it wasn't just yep. the corporations. It wasn't just the corporations because guess what? You know who else who, who owes a big debt of gratitude to uh, Fidel Castro? Few people realize this. Uh, who's that? Las Vegas. Oh, really? What, how did Castro uh, affect Las Vegas? Ha, simple. See, Vegas was on his island. And then suddenly, Castro said, nope, enough of this shit. No, nope, you get the oh, hell out of it. Get the hell out of it. Havana. So he kicked, of course, he the kicked, rat pack. Havana. He kicked out the mafia. And as a result, right. uh, and not only that, he walked right into the uh, Tropicana Club. Formed and yep. made and created in 1939. Yep. And he said, "No, nope, I'm taking this over." And uh, I've, been, I've been there. I've, I've show, uh, I'll, we'll get to the pictures. So I'll, so I'll just. Yeah. But I've anyway, been there too. Yeah, that's where the Rat Pack used to hang out. Uh, Sammy Davis that's right. Jr. And uh, old Blue Eyes and the Mafia, obviously. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. And as a result, yes. And as a result, um. The mafia had no other place to go, but uh, so what do they do? They set up Las Vegas, and that's why Las that's Vegas good. is the way it is now. That. I've been yeah. I've been to Cuba. I've been to Vegas. Honestly, I think I prefer Cuba, Rod. <laughs> the beaches are nicer, and the Man, people. I'm with are, you. Uh, mind you, the people in Vegas were pretty good too, but uh, Cubans are just so. Yeah. This is a how are you doing, everybody, band, uh, folks. Yes, hello. Oh, yes, cool. don't forget about the chats. Yes, hi, Suzanne Eckstein. Hello, Suzanne Eckstein. I've been seeing you've been leaving comments on my videos. So I really appreciate that, Suzanne Eckstein. I appreciate you watching. Um, so this, yeah, this is a coconut stand uh, where the guys uh, take machetes, machete, machete. Rob, can, Rod, can you say machete, machete. better? Machete. Than there machete. you go. Machete. And and cuts the coconut off right in your hand. And what was that like an American dollar for for a fresh coconut? Uh, something like that, I guess. And uh, well, was um, did they just do that to cut uh, cut the thing off and then uh, and then so you could drink it, or yes, did they do straw. the? Yeah, no, yeah. there's straws in the cup. You can see right there. They just stick a straw in it, give it to you, and those little oh, taxi. Same tuck tuck things going around behind them we, we those were coconut the like cocoa little taxis those were pretty cool they're, that's what they're called they're called cocoa taxis yep yep that was all right yeah yeah the um uh no because i was just gonna say that uh, see no same the same thing with me you know like the uh they cut off the coconut and or mm -hmm. cut off the top of the coconut put the straw in but you must have went to the wrong place because mine oh. poured mine they yeah mine rum. poured they added rum Oh, God <laughs> damn it. No, oh, shoot. I did not uh, see that. Mind you, I had rum. all In Cuba, I usually had, not always, but I usually had a flask of, a hip flask of rum in my back pocket because A, it's delicious, and B, it's cheaper than water. Yes, it is. And, and, and the other and thing, this... too, is the other thing, too, is, is you, you, you didn't even have to carry the flask, brother. You could just uh, you could just have a bottle right uh, walk down the street and the cop wouldn't give you a bat a bat, oh, set, bat nine. Sorry. He'd probably yeah no I didn't mean a flask I meant um, like this like that's not oh. a flask oh. a, a hip like it I said flask but I meant this like you just stick it in your oh, back okay pocket. that's what it's made for <laughs> yeah I would oh, drink yeah 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 two of these a day which is now nice. this is actually yeah. from Cuba Bacardi nice. and and we oh, originally. Bacardi. And then whether you like Bacardi or whether you don't, um, Bacardi is originally from Cuba and they were kicked out, I think, when the revolution happened. But you can still go on the buses and you can see the original Bacardi castle, the brewery and the family castle. And it's got the crest yeah. on it, the, the family crest and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's what that's all about. Um yeah, and Rod, did you notice, see, in my travels, Southeast Asia, you can do this, Mexico, you can do this. The guys with the coconuts, um, sometimes they're missing fingers, eh? Oof. Mm -hmm. 
Like it's, I it's actually, not... uh, the, I've, I, the, uh, as I said, I've only been to, uh, I've been to Cuba and uh, Cozumel, but uh, um, I have, it's however, uh, safety's not. Yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, I have, however, wa- uh, seen the uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, the, the my brother got me was the one who got me into tra- travel shows. You know, the booze traveler, Anthony Bourdain, uh, parts unknown, and. Um, uh, and um, uh, no reservations, as well as uh, yep. who else? Uh, and one two more. Canadian dudes that brought the yeah, Canadian no, um, fellows, departures. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, there's bikinis and boardwalks, and lastly, one of my faves. They don't they don't do it anymore. I wish he would. Damn, yeah. uh, Andrew Young, husband, Canadian. Um, yeah, and he did uh, don't drive here, which is funny. Kind of sort of yes. Makes you think of Paul. Paul Chato uh, in, in there. I'm in a car. Yeah. Don't drive here. <laughs> so the, anyway, <laughs> I do have the sound to that band. That was in the airport. Uh, the the band was oh. playing. Uh, yeah, they. Oh, they, you, they, That's. I was just gonna say that's Parquet Central. All the. Is that uh, the band's name? The, no, no, no. Go back. Oh, here. The shot of. Yeah, all the that shot of the cars. That's Parquet yep. Central. That's uh, unbelievable. Yeah, right in in downtown Havana, well, mm-hmm. old Havana. Yeah, um, yep. with a tank from the revolution uh, right behind. But yep. I don't even like. What are these cars, Rod? Like, I'm not. I mean, I'm a car guy, but these are before I was born, like thirty years. Oh man, those are all Ch- yeah. Chevys. They look like Chevys, I'm don't they? Sure. I, I believe the one in the blue and white is uh, is a Ford right, uh, right at the end there. Hmm. Hmm. The green one looks like a Chev. Yes. Oh, that, uh, that's straight rum. That's all right. I oh, think the... uh, <laughs> nice. Suzanne I, Dolan. I... Susan Dolan. Sorry, we've got a Suzanne and Susan. I will yeah, try let's... my best to keep you straight. Sorry. Uh, go ahead, Rod. Sorry. No, no. I was just going to say, let's look at the chat first. Or uh, uh, don't let the chat get away from us. Yeah, no, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Want to screw that and the guys on leftists in the 50s, 60s, and 50s or 60s and 70s used to used to hijack airliners to uh, to Cuba. My brother told me a story of two college leftists who hijacked a plane to Cuba. They were put in the sugar, uh, probably the cane fields, and put sure. to work in the sugar cane fields. After two weeks of paradise, they were on, on their knees begging to go back to capitalist degenerate America. Hmm. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. yeah well hard work you know uh, I mean, people yeah don't, i mean you're no you're, you're no stranger to hard work uh rod being a trucker and i've been in construction i'm no roofing and I'm growing no, up growing up on the farm right out here exactly exactly buddy yep so yeah, yeah hard hard work is good for you and cubans definitely know how to work hard i will say that those they guys do. look good for their age yes they do miskatonic madman Yep, oh, thanks. I'm glad you like me. Hey, Carla's here. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. How you doing? The pop culture curator says 57 Ford. Hey, I, I think yeah, pop see? culture curator might actually be a little older than us, so I appreciate any insight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 57 Ford, that blue one? Okay, up front. Yeah, the rest do look like Chevy, don't they? No, well, what do they tell you? What's the first thing I said to you? It was yep. a Ford. Yeah, uh, Miss Katonic is saying hello to Carla. It's really good to see you, Carla. I'm glad glad to have you here. Yes. And Christopher Dominguez, yes. you too. Uh, you're another fellow yeah. that that uh, um, I, I've, uh, I'd like to stream with. I, I know Christopher Dominguez was on the other night, and he was fantastic to have on. So uh, they must have learned their lessons by the end. Yeah, I think the the two kids did. Yeah, for sure. Hey, and and Herc 130. Hello to you, sir. We're just looking at some gorgeous cars. Which is which is better? Is that maybe better? Maybe that's better. Yeah, Rod. Um, that's the thing. Like, same growing up in, in on the East Coast, not a lot of money. I mean, we had to take. Now people just go buy a brand new brake caliper. You know, the thing that uh, grabs your your brake uh, discs, folks. For those of you who don't yeah. know, back in the day, my first two cars, man, I would uh, I would pull those calipers apart take emery cloth and sandpaper, clean them all out, take all the rust off, re-lube them, put on new rubber boots, because you used to be able to get a rubber boot kit, a cylinder yeah. kit, a sleeve, yeah. and do it that way. And it would take you three hours, but, <clears throat> but now you just pay 
40 bucks and get a new one. So, But Cubans are still doing it old school, right? Yes, they are. And uh, they're also, for example, making like um, hood ornaments out of just simply other hood ornaments and then just right. simply melting yeah. them down and making their own clay pots and uh, yeah, uh, and uh, out of a kiln and then Bob's your uncle. Yeah, there's their yeah. new brand, uh, brand new thing, uh, br uh, brand, uh, brand new hood ornament. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Eugene Bird, uh, I do like to smoke the occasional 420 mar marijuana products, and I do also uh, when I'm in Cuba, I I did have a I did have a I did try a cigar, and I actually took one back, Rod. I took one back at the shop that I was at. And mm -hmm. uh, I took it and I saved it for uh, my dad and I went on a canoe trip, just him and I, an overnight canoe trip with dad. And we had the canoe up for the, you know, all day canoeing. And we finished that night, set up camp, had a fire going and all. And I just come back from Cuba and I pulled out a cigar and I said, dad, I brought this back. So like, yeah, we enjoyed it. And I didn't know, of course I inhaled and was head spinning yeah. for like an hour and a half. So I didn't know. Well, nobody showed you how to like sit there. You're not. You're not actually Ooh. supposed to inhale. What you're supposed to do? You're supposed to puff. You're supposed to. I mean, because hey, thought you, I knew. you remember? I was four. You, you know? Well, you know? No, no. You know? You know how you know? All you have to do is just watch old '67 hey, Spider-Man. Old '67 Spider-Man. J. Jonah J Jameson yep. teaches you how to puff a cigar. No kidding. How many times? Have you hey, her. No, serious, seriously. I mean, because the the only reason I know is like in uh, in one of the photos you'll uh, you'll uh, you'll see. Um, mm -hmm. that little, that little gal, uh, on the thing, she could, yeah. uh, she could huff the cigar better than any of us. And All like, right. oh yeah. And like the way she did it and I'm like, sitting there and I looked at it and I suddenly yeah. realized, you know, you, that, uh, you know, cigars aren't like cigarettes, you know, like, no cigars are supposed to be, that's, that's, you know, cause they're big fat stogies. So what you yeah. do, you know, what you, you know, I mean, like you remember uh, J. Jonah Jameson, you know, he's like mm -hmm. sitting there and like, he's, he's, he's like. He's sitting here like this, and he's and he's got the cigar in his mouth, two fingers, and he's sitting there, and he's puffing away because he's going puff, 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 because that is exactly yep. how you're supposed to uh, supposed to smoke a cigar. You're not supposed it's, to. You're yeah, supposed you're to right. puff. It. Hey, way to bring this around to Spider Man, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, hmm. And this is is, is uh, there's a lot of meat in Cuba. And this was at a restaurant mm -hmm. we were at, and uh, yeah. just the Cuban smoked meat. Um, the Cuban smoked meat is a big thing, and uh, and the, the mm -hmm. smoked chicken. It's not spicy like a like a Mexican jerk chicken, but it has yeah. so much flavor. And I mean yeah. the, the shaved meats, the Cuban sandwiches, Rod. I know you've had a lot of the Cuban meat sandwiches, and they're just filled with juice, and and then the mojitos, the uh, Mm -hmm. and, and oh yeah that i had a lot of cuban meat sandwiches and mojitos and and mm -hmm. so that's the sandwich do you mind describing what a mojito is I'm oh that's you. just oh, it's um and now, now because i have to talk <laughs> my brain uh, uh it's it's from fresh it's, mint uh, leaves oh uh, yeah oh yeah okay yeah fresh mint leaves uh rum and um um not uh, no no I'm thinking of uh, uh, I'm thinking of uh, uh, Cuba, so, uh, Cuba Libre uh, no um, no mojito 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 yeah yeah, yeah but just freshly a mint leaves soda? pressed leaves yeah yeah uh, yeah crest, fr club soda I think yeah. it's club soda and, and they take with a mortar and like they actually crush the leaves up in the in the glass because apparently right. it releases the aroma and the flavors and then they pour in the rum and and I'm I thought it was, yeah, something like the that. rum activates it too. Oh no, kidding! Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good to see you, Eugene Bird. Thank, or, thanks for being here. Yeah, yeah. So, the, oh, the food in Cuba, I, I did enjoy. Yeah, and it was not expensive. And this again, oh, just fresh fruit, really good, man. fresh. Like you, you know, in the tropical places, the fresh fruit it's it's picked when it's ripe. Instead of here, no. where it's picked like a week before it's ripe, it ripens you know on the trees, folks. You know also why? Why? Be because as a result yes. of, uh, uh, as many uh, called it, the special period, 
uh, in the ni- in the um, uh, 1990s when Castro rallied everybody to get a, get around uh, get behind him and uh, you know and uh, uh, and again it was called we're in, uh, as as in Castro's famous speech he was he said uh, we are in a special period and um, well uh, as many of the Cubans though re- realized then like uh, you know, it may be special, but that's the other reason why it's special because everybody became extra specially hungry. So, right. as a result, the Cuban government allowed uh, rural uh, rural farming. And that is, like, if you, you know, I mean, what they did was they empty lots, like em- uh, empty, like deserted lots, city lots. What they did was they started farming, like you right. know, like in, they started in the city lot. Yeah. Right, at, yeah, hey, right, in, uh, right, agri- uh, agriculture, right there, and as a result, they are uh, they are the largest uh, city in, I believe, the world. Yeah. Uh, maybe not the world, but like in uh, in terms of like that to embrace um, organic organic agriculture right within the country or within, within country the within the city. Fantastic. Yeah, and this is an iconic church in downtown, down like one of the main plazas in 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 Havana. And uh, I got I that. Recall. I think it's in, yeah. But sorry, go ahead. Yeah. No, I oh, if, sorry. Add, if, dude, go ahead. I don't get hurt feelings here. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, we, there no, will be no just... hurt feelings report. So you go ahead and you interject whenever you want, buddy. I, no, I, I'm can't. sorry. I was just going to say that's a... that same. That's also, that's not far from, uh, uh, that's a few blocks from Parque Central. And, uh, but like, that's the mm-hmm. cathedral. In the history. And that's Central. actually the, yeah. And that's the, uh, yeah, yeah. And that's the um, cigar. Good question. Over there? Good question. I, like, I don't I think I was getting them for like three bucks a cigar, I thought. Something like that. In, in a, like you, a pack of 10. No, you more. Poor, you poor. I hate to I, no, you, uh, you, you, you were clearly going to the uh, Turistas. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Oh. Never. I'll tell you Dude, right now. You, look, I'm like, you could pass for a Cuban. People, I can't. <laughs> you could pass um, for a Cuban, dude. I can't. <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> no, but no, seriously. Uh, my advice to not just you, but to anybody watching, if if you're ever fortunate enough to go to Cuba, which by the way, the last time I went there, it cost me five hundred and four five hundred and thirty four dollars Canadian to right. go to for a to week. go to uh, uh, yeah for one week and. Uh, all inclusive. So even if you never, even if you never left the resort, you could get drunk, off, drunk off your ass. You know. And by the way, the uh, yeah. I mean, you you, you, you probably you probably remember uh, probably remember this too. But uh, yeah, no bars are open twenty four seven there. Yeah, and and fair. and and the and the hotel that I was at, uh, the hotel that I was at, you know, had a front bar. At, at one point, they're like the the uh, uh, the bartender just stopped. Uh, stopped tending it he, and then you yeah. just basically just like just the booze is just sitting there and like you just help, help, help yourself. yourself yeah that way they don't have to pay a staff member yeah yeah, yeah. And, and then but you'll every, overdo it and pass out early and you'll drink less well and every but every every so often somebody would check to see oh they're out of they're out, they're out of uh sangreen so I'm like you know yeah. like oh there you go you bob you know or or you know or if you really Ooh, if you really wanted yes. to bug them for it you could like you know bug them for it but like you know I, anyway, yeah, no. Oh, um, do you mind reading Suzanne Eckstein's comment, or if you don't mind? Yeah. yeah. Herc one, uh, Herc one thirty in the Caribbean. We drink rum, rum, and more rum, and more rum with coconut. Which hey. that's exactly what I. That's exactly what I said. You know, uh, earlier. Wait. You know when. You know, when okay. We we gotta we gotta talk like pirates the entire rest of the stream. <laughs> Do you remember you and I were on a stream with Gil, wherever I put, where wherever I put him. Uh, we were on a stream with Gil. I was just watching it a few weeks ago, and he he did the pirate accent and he kept it up for twenty minutes and he almost like he almost ruined his voice. It was terrible. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and you were there. I know you were there. I just no, that's it. funny. It was fantastic. Yeah, I know. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, rum, more rum with coconut. Suzanne, yes, I. Rum as a maritimer is my favorite uh, hard alcohol, and it is the one I can tolerate the most. It is 
Uh, yeah, in, in eight, nine days in Cuba, 10 days, whatever. I think it was 10 days. 10 days in Cuba, Rod, I put on five pounds solid, and, and it was huh. straight from, from rum. Like, I was active. I was snorkeling, sandcastle building. Oh, that's that's funny, because I lost weight. 100% it was rum. I lost weight when I, last time I went there. In Cuba? Really? Well, it's really more because, like, as much as I was tempted to overeat, which oh hey, I mean the, the food is good there. And hey, man, if you're really if you're if you're really lucky to have ever gone to a Paladar, you know, which mm-hmm. is a, those restaurant restaurants out of people's homes houses. No, um, I didn't. Hey, Jason, good to see you, buddy. Again, that is like seriously one of the best treats, you know, because as a result, of what was the it called, Rod? Pe- uh, Paladar. Paladar. Pal- Paladar. Okay. Pala, paladar. And that's the, you go to someone's house and eat in their house. There's usually like a sign out front or whatever that like, you know, like, you know, and like, you know, and it's literally, it's capitalism. Uh, it's capitalism. Baby. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, the, uh, as a result of special Beautiful period, buildings in Havana. Nope. This is all Havana. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they let, uh, uh, they let people, um, not only, uh, you know, not only could they uh, grow uh, grow foods and s- and sell them, and as opposed to uh, which, yeah, the government takes uh, the government takes like fifty one percent, but then mm-hmm. the people the people are allowed to sell uh, sell uh, sell their excess, which they do. You know, right? Uh, in, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And others w- were even more uh, uh, enterprising, and what they did was. Uh, they opened restaurants uh, out of their own houses, and before you knew it, suddenly like yep. line up around, line up around the house, beautiful, or around, around the block, I should say. Cook. Do you mind yeah. reading this from Eugene Bird, please? Oh man, yeah, I want to go to Hotel Nacional and dance with Gloria and Lily Estevan, but in 1940, before the commies. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, Eugene. Thank you. And hey, Moira Kitty. Hello, Moira. Hello to you. Hey, well, Moira Kitty. Th- thanks for being here. And Herc? Yeah. Oh, and Herc remembers that stream with Gil. Yeah, you were definitely around, buddy. <laughs> Name so cute. We just had kitties, kittens born on. Oh, nice, Suzanne. That's nice. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, working on cars is a perfect afternoon. Usually, as long as you're not trying, as long as you're not desperate to get it running again, then it becomes stressful. Oh, that's the street lined with cannonballs. With the cannonballs, yes, sir. Yeah, and that is the Capital Building. Ha. And that is a special hotel. Do you recognize that? That hotel is not famous for what it is. It's famous for who stayed there for a long, long oh, yeah. time. Beyond- Oh, is no uh, Beyonce and uh, what's this pick no, on the uh, dude? Oh. I'm gonna slap you. What? Oh, frick. Uh, Cuba, no, I am, Havana, uh, famous writer who stayed there for a long time. Oh, Hemingway. Yes, that's Wait the hotel that Beyonce. You can't believe you said Beyonce. That's Hemingway, man. I was told that 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 hotel was the residence where uh, the Hemingway hmm. stayed, and didn't he have something involved? Wasn't he involved with the making of the Cuba Libre drink? Uh, Cuba Libre? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe it wasn't him that that had something to do with the invention of that. No, it's you're right. Wrong. But it, you're you're right. But it's not the uh, uh, not not the Cuba Libre. It's the um, um, oh the uh, uh, what I just said the mojito. No, no, no. Mojito? The other one. No. It's another one. No. Anyway, that's the Margarita. Hotel. Margarita. Margarita. Okay. Birth, birthplace of the margarita, the, and, that, and that's nothing. That's that's actually the uh, that's I, I I did I just realized I can't believe I didn't get any outside shots. I did in my previous uh, trip to Cuba, but uh, I saw the ones you got inside. Yeah, but yeah, the I ones with the uh, yeah yeah with with this statue and whatnot. But yeah, Suzanne Eckstein says Spider Man, true story. I went to kindergarten with my baby bottle. Apparently. West Indian parents give their kids hot toddies to sleep. So, yeah, I had my bottle. <laughs> I don't drink now, though. Yep. Good on you. <laughs> nice. I uh, I only drink when I am awake. People living in Florida are lucky to cross into Cuba by boat. Boy, they can swim <laughs> it if they really needed to. I, You know, 
as long as you're not bleeding, I guess. I believe it's, okay. it's shark infested, but okay. well, but they're smaller sharks. Yeah, I, I, and they're guess, so well fed. I mean, Rod, Rod, you've I'm assuming you've gone uh, snorkeling and, and so forth in the Caribbean. That there's fish everywhere. The sharks are so well fed; they're not gonna bother. I mean, they ate Fair all those enough. pirates. That's true. They learned <laughs> don't don't eat humans because the eating <laughs> all the pirates did not go well. They had peg legs <laughs> and hooks and shit. A lot of sharks died. Uh, <laughs> Absinthe. Yes, I've heard the same thing, uh, pop culture curator. I've had the same thing. Is Hemingway an inspiration? I wouldn't mind going to Pamplona, but not run in front of the bulls just to watch from a second story window. Darn good idea, Eugene. Oh, Bird. totally. Uh, our good friend Cam Cam is going to come on and do a Spain travel night Thursday show with me. And he's going to, he's been running with the bulls 19 times in Pamplona. So he's going to tell us wow. all about it. And he has photos and stories. And uh, wow. we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Rum and eggnog. Ooh, you got it, Suzanne. Love rum and eggnog. Uh, that That is a dangerous combination at Christmas time. Huh. Absence is. Yeah, I had it in, in Tokyo. The only time I've had absinthe, it was 70%. And that is a famous story. I ended up three police cars, six officers, and a giant stuffed sea turtle is how <laughs> that night went. That's a yeah. I told I've told the story a few times on air. Um, yeah, uh, when I cover Japan, maybe I'll tell that story. Huh. But yeah, that's a true. Yeah, six cops and a giant sea turtle six in the morning because of well, it wasn't because of absinthe. I was encouraged by the absinthe. <laughs> uh, have you had much absinthe, Rod? I'll be honest and say I'm an absinthe virgin. I only had it that once. And yeah, so these are all downtown Havana. Just guy working out in his car, you know, in the street, because that's what you do. Oh, yeah. I mean, you've seen the one in mine. Yep. The yep. pink Pontiac, or the pink, pink the, the, the green Pontiac. Nice. Pancha crema. Hey, yeah. I guess, Suzanne Eckstein, I'm assuming you speak a little bit of Spanish. Rod, how's your Spanish? Any you know decent? What? There it's... must be a little. It's rusty, but I mean, like, I have enough, uh, enough that, you know, like, you know normal, you know, yep. uh, uh, conversation. Enough to get around. You know? And like, we're, we're, yeah, and we're, words pop into my head, you know, like, uh, you know, like, uh, conocimientos, you know, or something like that, you know, like, a, uh, you know, which means no, I, it's knowing, I know. I studied in uni, in university, but a lot of the places I've traveled, have been Spanish speaking countries. So I've practiced it quite a bit just through travel, but I, I can, I can survive. I, you I, I can ask questions, but I probably, I'm going to misunderstand right. the answer coming back at me. But you, you know. probably noticed though, the dialect is different in, uh, I mean, like, uh, uh, Car uh, Caribbean, Caribbean Spanish is one thing, you know, yes. um, Spanish, uh, Spain, Spanish is, uh, is another 100% because, <laughs> oh. Suzanne is fluent in cursive Spanish, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that would be called uh, uh, oh, complete, no, 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 at least my brain. That, that's um, a Chevy, isn't it? That looks like a Chevy. Um, no, but is that not a Chevy? I could be wrong. I'm, I'm I do believe that's another Ford. Is it? Okay. I yeah. I don't claim to yeah. be an expert. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, this is just a photo of the pool. I don't know how. There was some sort of oh yeah. No, this is was a uh what do you call it when they do a routine in the water? Aquatic un underwater synchronized swimming. Yeah, Syn yeah. Swimming dance. Yeah. yeah. These girls were doing the synchronized swimming and uh I was just admiring their their choreography was incredible, and they oh man, holy yeah. crap, man! They're better swimmers than than I think uh, I am, uh, for sure. Did you? Uh, well, um, they put, a, <laughs> uh, they put that? a brief clip. They put a brief clip. Yes, that exact. Uh, yeah, that's out there in uh, Verdero. Uh, mm -hmm. The um, uh, Don Quixote. The name is, yeah, Don Quixote. Uh, um, uh, yeah. 
Well, that's the guy on the horse with the donkey. I don't know the name of the yeah, room. Yeah. That's in Veradero. Yeah, it's very, it's very obvious. Yeah. In Veradero. Oh, holy shit. Hey. Pop, pop culture curator says that is a 57 Ford. Is it, Pop? Yeah. See, knew it was a Ford. 57 Ford. Oh, shit. I've got that Thunderbird. I've got it's uh, with, uh, with, the, with the hard top that comes on and off. I, I built that model as a kid. You're right. Mine is red and white. But that is, yeah, I've got the 57 Thunderbird with, with the hardtop removable. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ford Freyland? Oh, okay. Oh, I, thought, I thought it was a Thunderbird. Oh. Excellent, Christopher. With a, with a last name yeah. like that, yeah, you better speak a little bit of Spanish, Christopher. Mother from Guatemala and father from Mexico. Oh, dude, good combination. I love both of those countries. Spent, spent Christmas in Guatemala. Uh, Hemingway yeah. also wrote The Old Man and the Sea yep. set in Cuba. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was a uh, Pulitzer Prize winning uh, novel. Or not novel. Uh, hmm. Really just a short story poem, I believe. Uh, oh, no kidding. Beautiful. Oh, and hey. This is a, a recent uh, acquaintance of mine, Primo Living BC. And chat, uh, please say hello to him. Uh, Rod, you know those things you sent me privately, uh, those some of those stream links. Uh, this gentleman is in that same uh, same community, and he uh, he's a he's a he's an acquaintance. Oh, good guy. Good good to have you here. Good yeah, to have you. Not? We're just doing a travel uh, talk on uh, for those of you who have just joined. Uh, this is uh, Thursday Night Travel Talk with Spidey, my uh, fantastic co-host and good friend, Rod Thunderheart, and who's been to Cuba as well uh, a few times, uh, and I've been there once, and so we're just going over some photos, and this is Havana. Havana, Hav oh. I don't know why I sped by that so fast, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Every oh, okay. photo just... equal. The only <laughs> thing I wanted to... Oh yeah, there's there's always uh, mariachis, back. mariachis everywhere. Always, always. Every. Yep. The uh, the only thing I wanted to say was, well, uh, well, I guess we'll uh, we can, you know, when when I want because I took pictures of the cigars too. Uh, never, mm. never. But I already I just said this, but like never buy your cigars from the El Turista shops because they they see you coming. They know you're getting. You're like, I know. Oh, I man. yeah. No. And even if you can yeah. talk them down thirty percent, you're still getting the whole thing. I know. You didn't. Oh no. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, like you, you know. I mean, you didn't know any better. That's fine. You know. And you, like you know, because the first, hey man, uh, that happened to me the first time. Me at well, well me, when I go with you. I went, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, but like, oh no! Now I'm just like, <sighs> it's old hat to me. It's old hat to me, you know. And and like, yep. I know the very first thing you do, you never. First of all, you never do uh, buy uh, buy your cigars at the tourista shops. You always, no. always talk to either either your cab driver or the yes, ho or, or the ho yep. hotel co uh, concierge. Yes. Uh, or yep. you know, the houseman you know? in the hotel is a good one. Yeah, so this, or, or I, yeah, or even like the housemen or the house gr house girls, you know, yeah. and like they're just like, hey, you know, like uh, you know, bird says, uh, uh, they, uh, in the cig you know, and they they'd be like, uh, and they'd be like, oh, CC, you know, and then and then like, uh, you know, yeah. and then like, you know, and then like, uh, <laughs> they get they, they give what, me what you, <laughs> if you went into they the. Uh, uh, I mean, like the, uh, the the amount of the number of cigars they give you. If you went into like the uh, uh, the tourist shops, you, you'd be paying like probably like 150, 200 bucks for the, for oh, that much uh, that many cigars. I, I so, need better than that. Yeah, yeah. I like Cubans too, uh, Rod, because uh, uh, being my height, uh, I found that they were all pretty much my height as well. So it was really, really um, perfect. It was awesome. It was really good. Everything was I at was my height. You know. I was taller. Lovely bartenders. There's a mojito uh, right in front of us, yeah. folks. That is the mojito drink that they just, uh, these wonderful guys yes. made up. They take the, do you want to describe how they, with the mortar and the pretzel? Um, the, with the they mortar, the, uh, mint. I, the mint and. Yeah, they just take the mint and then like they just, take, you know, it's, uh, and then, um, uh, and then crush it up and then like, uh, and then they, or the uh, pour the rum in and like just mm -hmm. 
because the mint is Simple cracked syrup open. and lime. I forgot the lime. Yeah. Lime, of oh, yeah. course, lime. Right. Of course. Right. You can see the lime on the edge of the – or no, you can see the lime in, in, the, in the drinks with the – yep. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's right. Looks like a fun place. Everyone's got big smiles on their faces. It is. Cuba is a fun, fun place. Good day, pop yeah. culture. Hey, pop uh, culture. Suzanne, I am, Suzanne. Yeah, um, I'm about 5'6", which is perfect – for my travels uh, through Southeast Asia and and uh, through Latin America, if I was Rod size traveling through Southeast Asia and and Latin America, Rod, I don't think I would have had a good time. <laughs> you're you're a you're a big good what? dude. So I tend to go to places where where um, it's an advantage to be small for sure. Oh, okay. Hey, there we go. There's uh, that's uh, Castro. Huh. No, that's um, is that uh, Che Guevara? Guevara? That is Che Guevara. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Yep. That rum yeah. hit me hard. That is Che Guevara. <laughs> yep. And hey, is this guy smart for selling stuff on the beach or what? Now, first of all, look at the beaches in Cuba, folks. This is Veradero. So now we switched away from Havana in my photos to Veradero. Yeah. Vera Veradero. I'm sure I'm Veradero because uh, the V the V sounds like a B. Okay, you're right. Better yep. Better Dero. Yep, you're right. Yep. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, you, you nailed it, Carla. So you put the lime in the coconut and you drink it all. Oh, now I got that song in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, so look at the color of the water, man. Like, oh, man. I know. It's like, unbelievable. So this guy, like the pool. He, he builds a, a, a thing to hold on his butt. A lot of guys carry this around. You saw the guys in, in Mexico and oh, Thailand yeah, yeah. and everywhere. Yeah. And they and they wear like a sandwich board, and they carry all these the, the jewelry around, and it's hot and heavy. This guy put it on his. He built a a rack for his bicycle. I tell you, the 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 Cubans are as inventive and creative as the Mexicans are for just taking what they've got and just building shit and making it happen. So he's in the shade, yep. peddling his wares on the beach. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, no, it's that's a hot job, folks. It it, it yeah. you know. But look at the location. <laughs> look yeah. at the location, folks. You know? yeah. I mean, that's just gorgeous. The water was... It doesn't even look like ocean sand. water. Yeah, no, it doesn't look, look that, no, it's like Caribbean. ocean water. The Caribbean is not really the... Not really, not compared. It, Caribbean is <laughs> the Caribbean. It's it's unlike Thailand for, for snorkeling. It's a, giant, it's a giant pool. It's a giant swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. there's the okay. So at our resort, there's the swim up bar. Oh, uh, at the pool. Yeah. So that's the resort I stayed in. Hey, there's a swim up bar. You don't even have to get up to go to the john. Yeah, I made a point of making sure that everyone knew that I went up and out to the bathroom. Just I don't want to be that no, guy. Trust me, I, the beaches. No. Now there's not a lot of shade on the beaches, um, other than what's no. man made, and you can rent a lot of those. Yeah. Definitely. Suzanne. Yep, you're right. You got that. Ooh, I wish I could sing. I'd sing that for you. Too bad Tony wasn't here. Tony could sing that. More, makes him more sturdy when he's chopping wood. Yes, I am lower to the ground. Therefore, when I fall over in a drunken stupor, I have I don't get as injured. <laughs> My head has farther or less far to, to fall to hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I put my shoes on, so you're really tall. Okay. Oh, thanks, Carla. Hey, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. I don't, honestly, if I was any taller, like some of the things I've been in and some of the shit I've done, if I'd be dead. If I was much taller or heavier, I would probably be dead with some of the things I've done, you know? And Spider-Man's not a – he's not a, a Thor kind of big guy anyway. He's, he's meant to be a little. Yeah, yeah, what, what, what Super Grover always say? I'm wiry. Uh, my dad used to <laughs> dive for pearls. Uh, the apostrophe is in the wrong, you know, is, is, is not necessary, but uh, that's all right. Uh, in Barbados, as the water is so clear. Yeah, I've never been there, uh, Suzanne. If you have any stories of Barbados, I'd love to hear them, uh, Suzanne. I've never been there, yeah. but I, it's similar. I mean, this is Caribbean. Caribbean beach is sort of similar everywhere. Although I've been to um, Grand Cayman Island has a town called Hell. 
and it's volcanic and all the beach sand is just black hot as hell yeah. at least here when you walk on the hot sand it's not terrible hot you know oh yeah 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 sorry for looking like i was like uh, bobbing for apples there people it's just I'm drinking my nighttime <laughs> drinking my nighttime mud and i want to make sure that i get all the uh get all There's the no uh <laughs> electrolytes uh, no, well, uh mud it's um oh no it, no, that's that's uh, stuff that's it's actually magic mushrooms, but they're microdosed. Yes, yes, yep. Mush hey, mushroom look who joined us, LDG. Hey, buddy, I've been seeing you all over hey. the place, man. You're one brother I I love to see every time, LDG. Speaking of me passing huh. out, um, good to see you, LDG. Huh. Always good to see pickles, and yeah, just gorgeous Caribbean sand. Uh, beautiful yeah. water. I mean, and, and it, it it doesn't get deep. You can walk way far out there, uh, there and, and it stays shallow forever. Now, at this resort that I stayed at, they it was for beginners. They were renting out, or not renting, they, they had sail, uh, sail boards, you know, the, the windsurfing equipment you could buy, or not buy, um, use. Rent. It was free. It was, in, it was, no, it was included in the resort. It was included. Oh, oh. I mean, other people could oh, rent, nice. but, but ours was included. Unfortunately, I should have rented a small one for a beginner because this was a big one with a big sail. Well, if you're a beginner, you don't want a big sail. You want a little. Oh, my God. And I wasn't sober. And after about the fifth time of be just being yarded right off the thing, I uh, I just I well, I didn't give up. The guy told me that I was done. So I was done. But it's if you do go windsurfing to one of these resorts, make sure that you get uh, uh, any. And if you want to try. The windsurfing, uh, get a small, get a small sail. Huh. Good to see you. Oh, always good to see you. Uh, nutrients, yeah, in in the mud water, yeah, it's totally nutrients. Correct. Yeah. Sorry, I'm turning down the uh, light uh, light uh, screen on my uh, phone. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that, LDG. Uh, hopefully, we can take uh -huh. your mind off. Your boy being sick. Uh, do you mind reading Suzanne Eckstein's, please? No, yeah, sure. Mind. Yeah. Everyone has a nickname. My uncle Stinky never knew his real name till I was 25 years old. Seems he was fishing on his lunch break from being a mechanic. He caught a shark when he gutted it. Uh, when he gutted it, he found. Huh. Wow. Oh, he found he, when he got it. He found a woman's hand with a huge diamond. Holy cow! Watch, uh, what huge, huge diamond? Wow, woman's hand with a huge diamond ring on it washed off, and you know, washed off, and he ran off and <laughs> gave it to my auntie to propose. Huh? Good for him! Wow. Wow. That is, wow. If, if there's any time thing that that says it's Holy you know that's meant to be, then yeah, that that's it. No, well, and that's yeah. Sorry, finish your take on that, Rob. Oh no, that's all I was gonna say. It was just kind of wow. If there's anything that's uh, that says it's meant to be, that's it. Okay, that's that's uh, yeah, and and of course, Rod and I, we are great friends, but we do have differing opinions on things. And and my yep. advice, see, I look at that and I said, dude, you you find a diamond and you give it away. What, dude, man, if you find treasure. Be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't argue there on that one, yeah. but like. Be a pirate. Nah, I'm, that's what, see, Rod, I, I really enjoy having you on because um, we have, I have great respect for you and, and uh, we don't have the same, you know, it's not an echo chamber with you and I. We bounce different things off of each other and I freaking love it, man. Well, that is that's a story. Part of, You're right, it is. Well, that's part of, that's part of uh, stoicism. Which is uh, respect, uh, respect, respectful, uh, respect of other opinions, but that doesn't mean that you have to agree with them. But like, it doesn't, you know. On the other side of the coin, it doesn't mean you have to sit there and then like, why, well, you know, get out of here. You know, no. oh, I, I don't, I don't you. have to be right. I, I'm not insecure yeah. that I have to Nobody's be right. right. Yeah, you know, and you're not insecure. You're you're a wrestler for yeah. Christ's sake. You don't have to be uh, right either. We can. 
Oh, well, maybe. I mean, yeah, never thought of it that way. No. Um, I, that is an excellent, yeah, Primo BC, Primo Living BC says, Suzanne, a hand, you say? Have to remember that next time I go fishing. Yeah, in a, a shark, <laughs> eh? Well, see, this you is see the it? thing. See, uh, can I explain it? Uh, that's how that's that's just it you know i mean like if i was uh you know i mean i mean like man i really this okay very narrow per perfect yeah, perfect example you know i mean like if i was you know say for example uh vacationing with lisa and it was a few years into our relationship and then i'm sitting there thinking like yeah she's really you know like it feels like we might move move to the next level, you know, and then all of a sudden, like, well, how should I do that? How should I do that? You know, and then all of a sudden, like, then suddenly if I happen to catch a shark and then suddenly, like, right, literally, the, literally <laughs> you cut the, shark open, cut the shark open and, like, there's yeah. a woman's hand with a diamond yeah. ring. You know, that's I mean, a, like, that's, that's a sign. That's well, literally the universe, the universe saying, hey. Well, I mean, I don't believe in any of that. It's, it's the, the odds of it happening are, are astronomical but it did happen. no you're absolutely right that's what i'm changed. saying it happens you know yeah more uh bacardi rum since we're celebrating uh cuba and discussing cuba folks that is from cuba now i I've, and now after the the big communism takeover bacardi had to move and i can't remember where they had to move to but i i forget where their headquarters are now but did they move they moved to the south didn't they it was it was in havana havana yeah, it was in there, but I mean, like, I even saw, I know, I saw Great. the, uh, I saw the it's Bacardi, uh, Bacardi mansion too. It could be in, is it in Jamaica? No, I don't know. And, oh, you know yeah, what? Just, That's right. I think it is. I, I think it is. Jamaica. Now, can you read uh, what it says underneath that Cuban flag? How's your Spanish? Volveren. I can't even barely. Uh, anyone who speaks Spanish, if you can. Tell me or tell us what it's it's Volveran, oh, um, like revolver. My brain revolver is in the ran. back of my head. No, no, um, not a uh, revolver. Um, that's uh, uh, gold, uh, frick. Uh. Spanish. Oh, Spanish. I really need to put myself back into my Spanish. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, I can't remember that one. I, yeah. Okay, I respectfully decline at the moment. At the moment. Yeah, we'll get it. Suzanne Eckstein. Uh, so this is in Veradero, uh, which is a smaller community. It's about two hours from Havana. It's on the north coast, same as Havana of, of Cuba, uh, facing mm -hmm. conveniently facing the States. Suzanne Eckstein says, my uncle Brew didn't know his name till I was 30. If you take the caps off beer bottles and make them spell Brew, drank the whole thing. That's how he got his name. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Huh. That, so you'd have to drink enough beer to spell brew with the caps? Huh. That's impressive. That's impressive. Huh. Yeah, Veradero is actually a well-known tourist town that's even uh, even mm -hmm. before the even yeah. before the revolution. Yeah. Do you mind reading this from uh, our friend Primo Living BC uh, Rod, if you don't mind? Yeah. Yeah. Suzanne, I've seen a grouper I've seen a grouper fish swallow a four-foot shark in one bite. I'd be scared if I was swimming in those waters or even in a boat, just in case. But hey, no, no, I agree with you there. Yep. Uh, groupers are huge. Uh, they're definitely huge. Yep. Uh, there is a Picardy yeah. place in Honduras, but not the headquarters. Okay. Right. Oh, man. Hey, Sorry, Tom. Yeah, I'm going to have to miss the... Uh, I was just going to say, oh, man, sorry, Tom Connors. I'm going to miss Mead Radio. Probably all of it. Cause... Oh, yeah. Oh, Eugene Bird oh. says, I'm fluent. That's the future tense. They will return. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. Referring to the exiles. Ah, oh, dude. Right. Hey, thanks so much. Like I said, uh, my Spanish is like two or maybe three out of ten. Will return. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Future tense. Hey, Eugene, thanks a lot. Yeah. Yep. He's from down east, in the neck of the woods. Oh, okay, uh, Brew is, yeah. Primo for sure. Cool. All right, well, uh, moving on. Uh, I'm going a little slow, folks. We're going to speed up here. Uh, and just, yeah. like, this is a, this is just someone, a rich person's casa, just a beautiful house. But, but yeah. it's, it's not new and fancy and shiny. 
you know, it, it, it is older and, and rustic. And I like that look. I really like that look. Right oh, there. man, me too. Yeah, 100%, man. And here's the, the pool at the resort. And and the uh, it was here in, I want to say January, Feb, February. It, it, well, I was in Cuba when Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina hit. So whatever time Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina hit, Okay, guessing October, November, probably hurricane season, October, November. I was yeah. in Cuba. Our plane was actually delayed by four hours because of Katrina. Uh, so there you can see the storm clouds gathering. This is two days before Katrina. So the clouds are gathering. Don't you wish you could have don't you wish it could have happened like literally like the day before? So then you would have you would have no choice but to stay longer. Oh dude, that you know what? That would have been absolutely, yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I would have. And this is okay. There's there's not going to be any audio because of the way that I had to share this. But this is um, the storm, the scene of the storm. So this is Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina, just wow. as it's just before we left uh, Havana. So I can play it here. I don't think the volume's going to play, but you can't. Oh yeah, you can see a bit of wind. But it was really yeah. just belting out there. This was just the, the just before the hurricane came and hit at our resort. Huh. Uh, yep. But anyway, uh, so that is that presentation. So now those are all of my photos, Rod. And now, huh. yeah. So uh, now we've got uh, uh, some from your trip. So I think we can make that happen. And thanks for well, uh, hey, Mister Angel is here. Hey, hey, Mr. Mr. Angel. Angel, good to see you. Oh, that I makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Love those buildings, says Primo Living BC. Love the architecture. So did I. Absolutely. I'm a fan of architecture. Uh, I wanted to be an architect when I was like 14. Don't know why huh. I didn't. Okay. So Christopher Dominguez says, I caught on that because the word volver means to return. A revolver. Yeah. See, I was thinking revolver. Like cycle around and yeah, like, no. but, yes. But no, you're okay. close. You're close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's yeah, what I was thinking. Good. Excellent. Yeah, but I just couldn't put it together. But now I will now. Hello, Mr. Angel. Great to have you here. Thanks for being here. So yeah. So doing, now man? we're gonna look at at Rob Thunderheart's uh, uh, um, photos. And here we go. Uh, all right. Just give me a sec. So, Rod, what was uh, while I line up and queue up uh, the photos that you sent me? Um, what was something about Cuba that you didn't expect? What was what was something that that was really quite surprising? If there was, or maybe there wasn't anything. I don't know. <clears throat> No, I, I well, no, I was absolutely surprised. I mean, like, well, I know a lot of people are going to be like, eh, communist, eh, you know, but uh, no, as far as I'm concerned, you know, like, uh, Cuba is Canada's Hawaii. And it's a well known fact that uh, Canadians love to go there. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I think so. And, and they, they appreciate us coming in and giving them tourism dollars. So I, yeah. I think they, Really appreciate that. So, okay, this is Rod's. Uh, one of the things about Cuba that struck me, uh, kind of it was nice to see, Rod. One of the most amazing things was I saw people, uh, when we were taking the bus between Havana and, and Veradero or wherever, you'd see people yeah. lining up, like farmers mostly, it looked like, your common people, on the highway, and they'd form in queues, in, in lines, with like a guy yeah. in a, or a girl in, in a fluorescent vest, and they just yeah. randomly flagged down cars off the highway. And, and I and I asked, well, what's going on there? If you're in a government That's car right. and you're driving somewhere and there's the, the you're it's the people's car. The government is owned by the people. The government doesn't have cars, they, they have people's money, and the people have the cars. And so yeah. if you're a government employee driving in a government car, you've got to stop at one of these lines along the highway and, and pick up the people. If you've got spare seats and drive them to the destination that if they're going in the same direction as you, 
Yeah. Because that's that's what it is. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Damn. Wouldn't man, I would love to get a ride with Christia Freeland or <laughs> one of those people. <laughs> oh. Boy, would I have a uh boy. Now I should have the RCMP beat me up, I guarantee you. Uh, yeah, so Rob, well, see, that's the other thing too. At? Is well, see, that's the other thing too. Oh, that's just like the front, uh, the front porch of like, uh, I mean, like literally to the uh, left of the photo is the uh, front, uh, is the front, uh, is the front, uh, front desk area of the of this. Uh, this place is called uh, ho yeah, Hotel Hotel Atlantico, and um, I highly recommend the place now. A lot of other people might be kind of like, uh, yeah. you know, because it's only a three-star resort. You know, personally, I think it's uh, easily deserving of a four-star oh. resort. Oh, yeah. No, three-star is my, my jam. Absolutely. Because you can get yeah. away with a lot. That's just it. You know, I mean, because like three stars, you know, I mean, like, uh, I mean, look, it's not like perfectly polished uh, wood or uh, uh, wood or con uh, or uh, like slabs, it's like, you know, like floors or anything like that. You know, but I mean, like. I, uh, I mean, like, you know what? Yeah, you're saving a pile of cash by not having to sit there and like, because there are some people who do need the f uh, five star resorts that need to have their hand, uh, f uh, their nails done and their, uh, and their, uh, uh, you know, uh, pedigree, uh, uh, pedicure, uh, manicures, and like they're, they're and I'm just kind of like, did it? You leave that behind, you know? You, you. You want to, you know, I mean, you go to another country because you want to experience another country. You know, I mean, this is what I was, what I said about Cozumel. You know, I mean, like, I loved it. I had a lot of fun there. But I mean, like, at the same time, I never really thought about it until my brother pointed this out. You know, and that is that, uh, well, yeah, you know, I mean, like, uh, he said, you think this is great? You know, wait till you, uh, wait till we go to Cuba next year, you know, which was 2014. And then, like, you know, and, like, the following year, 2015, that's when we went to Cuba the first first time. And the second time was like 2016. And like the next time was 20, uh, 2018. Uh, but anyway, the um, uh, the, fir uh, the first time, uh, you know, he, uh, he said the other thing too is, and this is, this is nothing on Americans themselves, please. So don't, don't take the wrong, wrong way. You know, mm -hmm. but it's just yeah, simply because... Capitalism and corporatism has invaded so many other damn countries, you know. And like, mm -hmm. I feel I this is again, this is no, this is no on them, but like, I don't want to go to another country and then come to another country because I want to go to uh, Canada, something or other, you know, uh, Can uh, Canada, Spain, or Canada, whatever. No, I want to go to another country because I want to go to another country. I don't want to sit there and like have to like oh McDonald's, you know? No, that's yeah, right. You know, and, I want to go there. I want to try yeah. the other the food today yeah. of the people. Learn the language. You know? I mean, try try the language. Need, Absolutely. I mean, like you have not lived until you've had you you've not tried pizza until you've tried brick oven pizza in 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 Cuba. So like, Wait. man, would you mind reading our what our friend Mister Angel has to say, sure. uh, Rod? Yeah. We should force all politicians to have that carpool arrangement. <laughs> Bloody it's... brilliant! Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and while you were, uh, uh, Ford shared that it wants to create driverless cars so that you won't own it. They will, and you'll have to call Ford instead of Uber to get a ride somewhere without a human driver. Yeah, that'll be an excellent way to control the population from independent travel. Even if I, it's uh, an unintended consequence, that is a side consequence. Ten bucks okay. says that's not the actual Ford Ford family talking. That's corporate Ford mm. talking. Oh right, yeah. Imagine flagging yeah. down the prime minister to take me take me to work, boys. <laughs> hmm. President, the prime minister or president? Yeah, no, we get it, Mister Angel. We're not that drunk. We can figure out what you mean. Angel uh, with a big slice yeah. of that humble pie, exactly. Just giving it to the premiers and the president in the car. See, that's the problem. Yes, exactly. You know, I mean, because this is why they, we get screwed so much. <laughs> they and couldn't then, ignore yes. us from the back seat. Exactly, Primo Living BC. <laughs> you know, and then the other thing, you know, and then and then the other thing too is like, I mean, like this is why, and this is why, uh, why Trudeau won't give up on, on. This is why Q 
uh, this is why uh, sorry, this is why Trudeau won't give up on his uh, on his carbon tax bullshit. You know, it's because he has to answer exactly. to his corporate overlords. And he makes four hundred thousand dollars a year. His worth is ten million. He doesn't care about a tax. Uh, do you mind reading what our friend Christopher Dominguez and I know Christopher Dominguez? It doesn't have the the age we do, but I guess that means you've got a lot of time to get out there, buddy. Good for you, man. Yeah. I would one okay. day visit other countries to experience the culture and physical and social environment. Oh man, you you have no idea. It's just amazing. Yeah. Like read, you know. Uh, Rod, yeah. did you bring? <clears throat> now it's it's you're not supposed to, because <clears throat> I know the Cuban government is very strict on this, uh, <clears throat> and I I allegedly, well, yeah, I did. I brought a a a a little bit of Cuban currency back because it is so unique. Yeah, do you remember you, you know okay. the unique things that that the Cuban money has that we definitely do not like a denomination that we definitely do not have. Ha! The three dollar bill. Thank you. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd say. The three dollar bill, and I have one. This is all my. I got a bunch of foreign money, and I'm just from all over the place. Oh. I'm just going through it. Um, oh, I okay. think I, I have a three dollar bill. Big minor, but yeah. it's either here or it's in New Brunswick in my parents' basement. And I and also in Cuba. Is it Cuba or was it? Um, maybe I'm. Maybe maybe it was Aruba, with the triangular. The triangle-shaped coin. Is that Cuba or Aruba? Wow. It's a tri it's a coin. No, it's not it's Cuba. a triangle shape. It's not Cuba. Okay, it's, it's Aruba. Gotta be, but yeah, it's gotta, three, be, gotta be Aruba. That's why I'm confusing it with Cuba because of the three dollar bill. Three side triangle. Yeah. Okay, there you so go. <laughs> Aruba has a has a triangle coin and and Cuba has a three dollar bill. Yes, sir. That is an, a real that's not a joke. Cuba has a three dollar bill. Oh, Mr. Mr. Angel hey, knew talking. it was Aruba. Yes. Keep talking. Give me I, keep talking. I Give me did. two seconds. I'll see if I might actually yeah, have one. Yeah, right. oh, okay, great. Yeah, that's exact. Okay, Mr. Angel. Uh, yes, it was Aruba. Uh, uh yep. And and what's the currency there? The 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 Florines, the Flores, the Florences, the something like that. It, I mean, we're going back like a, a long time there, It'd be like 20 years, Mr. Angel. But I knew. <clears throat> it was either Cuba or or Aruba had the triangle coin, and I got confused because Cuba has a three dollar bill triangle. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, thanks, thanks for that, Mister Angel. I appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. All right, so uh, Rod's not here to describe these photos, but uh, we're going to go through these photos, and I'm going to describe them. Okay, so this is Rob, Rod, uh, Rod's hiding in the bushes with his camera. Looks like. He's by the hotel swimming pool, uh, doing one of those hiding in the bushes, waiting for the girls in bikinis, is what that looks like. Uh, no, it's just the, it's it's just the overlooking the beach. Oh. It's this really nice big, uh, big. You, know, you, you just walk up like about four steps, and it just you know, and uh, there it was. There you go. I'm Dutch, I know. Okay, thanks. Uh, yes, the, because Aruba is uh, Dutch or was Dutch. Oh, okay, Rod, Rod I'm going to make you big here. Uh, let's make Rod solo layout. There you go. Yes, there you go. That is the Cuban three pay. Oh, I accidentally said dollar. Yes, I meant three peso. Three pesos. Yes, tres pesos. And yep. would you mind showing both, both sides? Uh, fantastic. Yes. That is the tres pesos. And you are not supposed to take those yep. out of the country, Mr. Rod Thunderheart. Oh. <laughs> well, hey. apparently they don't exist hey, anymore hey, hey. anyway. L look at this. Look what I just found. Ha! Huh. Oh, you got You do have it. I did. Nice. The coin, the, uh, the, the coin from Florence is not, or from Aruba is not there, but yeah. There you go, folks. That is the three peso bill from Cuba. Which I may or may not. Did I really take this illegally from Cuba or did I just print it from a photocopier? If it's anyone from the government of Cuba watching, this is a photocopy. 
because I would never. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it anyways because they don't. Dude, they, they don't, don't exist, exist anymore. anymore. No. Oh, shit. Okay. You want to hear something funny when I was leaving Cuba, Rod? What? Ooh, what's that? It's a puzzle box. Ooh. Yeah, very cool with the Cuban uh, national flag on there. Yeah, that is awesome. All out of wood. Really nice. It was handmade, no doubt. Beautiful, Rod. Uh, when I was leaving, uh, for some reason, Cuba has this thing where they don't stamp your passport because it could get you in trouble. If you travel they, into the states or other places, so I had to. I tipped the guy I, in my passport. I put like a five American bill, and I said, "You I just, just want a stamp for my passport." So he he gave me his own personal, like his own stamp. That's, that's funny. Right. Yeah, but when I was there, they would not stamp my passport with with the Cuban because because I was going through the states, and in fact, flying through the states, coming back from Cuba sucks because you're not supposed to bring cigars because even if you're going to canada it doesn't matter if you bring them through the states uh they'll take them from you so i had to hide them my the, i was with a girl at the time and we hid them in her tampon box and it works because they're kind of they were sort of the size of big tampons I mean, I don't, anyway that's enough of that <laughs> really Why yeah that? no i i smuggled uh allegedly i smuggled uh cigars well i didn't they were in her luggage in her tampon box so I didn't. I guess technically I didn't. All right. What do you? Hey. A little to the. A little closer. Can't read, but I'll take your word for it. Oh yeah. Okay. Cuba. Did, yeah, yeah, that's Cuba Snap. And that's his name. Hey. It's the same guy. I've got the same stamp. Huh. Same guy. Nice. I swear to God. Maybe. <laughs> huh. Anyway, let's get back to the slideshow. You don't want to see our ugly mugs, folks. So this is Rod hiding in the bushes at the hotel. Okay. Guilty as charged. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. I'm doing a horrible job on the chat. Uh, Christopher Dominguez says, I would one day visit other countries to experience culture and physical and social environment. Yes, absolutely. Rod read that, I believe. Uh, yeah, okay. Aruba, here we go. Yes, Primo Living says, Angel, I am Dutch also. Nice. Excellent. Ooh, I love Gouda. Perfect. Huh. Uh, that is Dutch. And now the funny thing is I've, I've, I've been to... I've been to Netherlands maybe five times because it's it, it's but if you're going between France and Belgium and Germany, it's it's you might as well go through there. It's it's pretty convenient. And when you're standing in 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 Netherlands, you can actually read street signs if you sound them out. You they kind of if you sound them out, the sound is sort of like the English words, but um. Yeah, but at the same time, I can't, time. I can't Spanish, read that. That's I don't know why what that I was is. just thinking. That's that's what I was looking for. Spanglish. Span oh, Spanglish, yes. Uh, Eugene Bird says, I was curious how far you'd have to travel. I went to the Naval Academy and Fort Meade there in Maryland. Fort Meade I'd like to go to. Photocopy. Yeah, that's right. It's a photocopy, uh, Eugene Bird. That's right. No, uh, counterfeiting money. Replicating. I'm not making new serial numbers. So as long as you're not making new serial numbers, it's not counterfeiting. I'm replicating an existing bill. <laughs> the Guatemalan Quetzal coin lying around somewhere. Yeah, I, I've got it on the floor. I just dumped them all out, but I can't find the... It's there. I do have... Uh, would you mind reading this, uh, Rod uh, Thunderheart, from our friend Primo Living BC, who actually, you know where I am. Uh, he's in my kind of generic rough area. So he's kind of a neighbor of mine. Yeah. <clears throat> Angel, I am uh, re, re, uh, relearning the Dutch language. It was the first language I learned as I was re, uh, raised by my grandparents that didn't speak English. It's coming back quickly, though. Ah, right on. Good to hear. Excellent. Yeah, uh, Dutch kind of, like, it's not spelled the same as English, but it sure, some of the, some of the words sure sound English. I'll tell you that. Yeah. 
I do. Yeah, you got know the what? Puzzle. That gives me a great idea, Rod. Uh, we should. Oh, shit. Well, I, I collect foreign currency. It's a. It's a. I'm doing it since I started traveling uh, in '87, and I'd love. I got a shit ton of coins and bills that are. I find them fascinating. I'd love to do a stream. Maybe, maybe just do a stream on foreign money if, if uh, you know, if, if people would find that. Oh, yeah. I've only got, uh, I've only got two twenty-five. I think they're cents, or maybe they're cent Um <laughs> I almost filled my new gene. I, I, I did. It, it expired just, but I did. I do have a couple of passports that are just about filled. Oh, Rod, I just like having your commentary, man. I just, you're just a, a awesome to have. Oh, thanks. So, oh, here. Appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Christopher. Yeah, I was just going to say, you can skip ahead a little, a little, because I think some of these beach scenes are more or less generic. They're just basically the, the beach <laughs> around the resort. <laughs> Mr. Angel says, so we have now counterfeit smuggling, illegal leaving the country, keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> I have admitted to. Now I didn't do the smuggling. It was her tampon. Though. Hey, no, it's. I got I got both my stamps here, man. Both the yeah. uh, both uh, both of them are like, both in 2015 and 2016. Both times uh, before mm -hmm. and both after. Stamp. Nice. Yep. Yeah. So. Oh, so these are the Coco cabs that we were talking about. Excellent shot there, yep. uh, Rob. Coco tech. Nice uh, pink uh, car in the background there. I don't want making. Yeah, it, and it? actually, that's right outside the. Um, um, uh, La Floridita, which is Heming the Hemingway bar. The, the Hemingway place. bar, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's uh, sorry, that's you know what? It's not the margarita. What am I thinking? No, it's the daiquiri. I believed you either way. <laughs> no, is that no, you no. or it's, your uh, brother? No, that's my brother. He's got the similar build to you. Uh, he's You're built, a bit taller, but he's. But um yeah I've I've got four inches on him but uh, oh okay yeah no yeah he uh, and he's he's also well, it's funny 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 you mentioned that earlier same, uh, he's uh, he's Dutch though oh okay yeah now, anyone yeah. over six foot looks the same to me I'm yeah. like, at this angle it all looks the same <laughs> oh man nice. Beautiful. By the way, that meant. Uh, by the way, that that translates to the triumph is equal to the sum of the struggle for everyone. It might be slightly different. Some people know. But... Uh, which one? Oh, that. Yeah, uh, repeat that, Rob. Triumph. I missed that. The, el, uh, el triumph. The tri triumph. The triumph. The triumph. En, uh, endless. The triumph is equal to the sum of the struggle for everyone. For everyone, not the totals. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. Fidel. Total. Total is every. Uh, total is basically. You know, See, everyone. that's funny because I asked uh, the the one of the Cuban bartenders that I got to know pretty well there. I was asking him, you know, every everything's about Fidel Castro, and I asked him, and Fidel Castro is a is a huge uh, baseball fan, and yep. he was on a team. He he was on a team apparently called the uh, the, the the Spanish translation for the bearded ones. The, the better barbados huh. or something like that that the bearded one the barbados barbados yeah and and, and, and so you actually ask, barbados you ask him is, barbados is actually uh, that's a no, that's it's, the it's, <laughs> that's a barber yeah it's okay barbados however you <laughs> pronounce the bearded ones in spanish yeah. anyway <laughs> so he, he i asked him who's the best baseball player in cuba and he said fidel and he said, no matter who yep. you ask, they will always say Fidel is the best baseball player in Cuba. I was like, well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's right. Tyrant much? Yeah. He threw a mean bean ball, but he wasn't uh uh but he was never yeah, recruited to the Yankees. Now, some people some people say he was, but he wasn't. Daniel's hot topics. Hello, hello to you. Great to see you here. Thanks for being here. Yeah. And yes, you, you yes, Mom. good morning, good morning, yes, good morning. Go, that's exactly the the what some of the words I was thinking of, Eugene. Yeah, right. yeah, that's right. Similar. You look at it sometimes. It's, yeah, yeah, I mean, like sometimes. It's and you just sound it out. Like, yeah, yeah. Thanks, uh, Daniel's hot topics. Excellent to see you here, and Carla Burton. All right, we're gonna move along so that we're not five hours here, folks. Uh, beautiful <laughs> yeah. beach. Hey, this is oh. in. Oh, this is uh, the. Yeah, 
Oh, see, see this is why. Uh, um, see the pictures that I gave you too. They were also in order of the the as the day went on. Right. You know, so. Oh, now you're, here's you're, Eugene Bird. Yeah. 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 That that's yeah. it. Yeah, the triumph Go will ahead, be in the total of, uh, total effort. The triumph will be in the total of uh, total effort of all. Thank you, Eugene Bird. Thank you. Uh, so, do you want to tell the people what Club Tropical is and why it's famous and who used to go there? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I, I already As mentioned I that earlier. Makes me. Yeah, but I already mentioned earlier. Yeah, you can actually. But now we're actually looking at photos. Yeah, you can actually you can actually go with, uh, go through the photos while I narrate. Yes. Uh, sure. Okay. Well, then, well, then, I was a cab driver just simply at the very first uh, place that we stopped. You know. Oh, now we're back. Up. Nice cars. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, but the um, um, uh, Trop uh, uh, Tropicana Club was owned famously by the mafia, by the mafia, and yeah. Frank Sinatra. Again, as mentioned earlier, Frank Sinatra and all the other Brat Pack went uh, went there until uh, the Revolution in 1959, and Fidel said. Screw you, uh, screw, uh, screw you, maf mafia. We, you know, we don't want you here. You know, and kicked him out mm -hmm. famously. Now, a lot of people, first of all, they get mad at uh, Fidel for that. But then, when you, they should really, to a lot of, to a very great degree, they should be thanking him because, had he not kicked the mafia out, mm -hmm. you would, uh, Las Vegas would not exist. Not it, right. it would, it would exist. It would exist, but it wouldn't exist in the way in the way that it does now. Right, that's your brother and you. Uh, we we both knew actually. I mean, well, I mean, because like, because uh, well, yeah. again, we're both read up and studied. Well, like, he well, he made me faint. He made me curious of Cuba. So I was just sort of like, oh wow, I got to look into this. Awesome. And like, and like, you know, uh, you know, because the other thing too is like, are those handmade leather? I wish. Yes, they are. Um, I I'm gonna tell you something else too, and that is that this this makes you this really really makes you feel proud. Well, not not only makes you feel proud, you. but it makes them feel. Yeah. Hey, by the way, that's a famous Ford Fairlane. Is it? No way. Yes. Is that? Yeah. From the movie. Uh no. The oh. the reason why it's famous no the reason why it's famous is because, uh look up the Wonder List with Bill Weir, mm -hmm. and. And uh, there's one shot in there where he actually drives a Cuban, a Cuban, uh, or uh, he's in Cuba, and like he, he drives a Ford Fairlane, and this is the exact Ford Fairlane that he was driving. The very one from the movie. Uh, no, no, not not from the Ford Fairlane movie. Just it's just no, simply no, because that's that. the that's the brand of car. You know, I mean, it's a Ford yes. and it's a Fairlane, and. Um, uh, and yes, it's a hard top convertible. No, I, I the the hard the convertible doesn't work though, unfortunately. Mm. I see the but, building uh, behind still you. Still a cherry car. Yes, that that the is two the big one white with buildings, and the one on the left has Che Guevara's image in iron on it. I can. See. That's I mean, him. Yeah. People in the chat, if you haven't seen it in person, you maybe you not might not you can't spot it maybe, but. Uh, the two white buildings in the background, the one on the left. Above the bus, right above the bus. Right above the bus, that is Che Guevara's face in an iron silhouette. It doesn't light up at night, but I think they've got spotlights maybe. But, it, but Yeah, they have, no, no, neon. you're right. They have, it's iron. No, you're right. They have spotlights on it. Yeah, they do. Uh, I, <clears throat> excuse me. And that is in Havana. <laughs> okay, so getting back yeah. to the chat, Primo Living B.C., Oh, thanks, Eugene Bird. Uh, it says, Angel, I remember all the prayers I used to say. Ek oh, now I'm speaking Dutch? Come on now. You did this on purpose, Primo. Ek <laughs> ben slappen? Is that Dutch? Ek ben slappen? Oh, dude. My sister-in-law is Dutch. I gotta go, uh, I gotta, I'm going to go up and say that to her and see what happens. Ek ben slappen. Yeah, Primo Please living B uh, BC. Uh, Andrew Day. Yeah. Just to answer, I know uh, I spelled it wrong. I was, living uh, BC, uh, beautiful, kept me in line. Yeah, the Dutch. Oh uh, no, they um, definitely know how to. to uh, Eugene Bird never compare Dutch and German with each other. If you like to survive in the Netherlands or Germany, says Mister Angel. Yeah, fair enough. 
Wow, nice picture, says Primo. Yep. No, noted, says yep. Eugene. <laughs> uh, back in 1999, uh, me and my parents went to Cuba, Baradero, says Daniel's Hot Topics. When we got there, it was so hot, I never felt like that before. Never felt heat like that before. And we went to a hotel, and it was next to the awesome beach. That's exactly, yeah, that's uh, exactly the type of spot uh, Cuba is. Now, Daniel's Hot Topics, 1999, so obviously Americans couldn't do that in 1999. Can they do it now? Can Americans go to Cuba now? I thought Obama was going to fix that. I don't know if he did. Uh, Trump unfixed it. Oh, okay. No. Uh, uh, you can you, yeah. actually they they can go to Cuba, but okay they have to go to they have to go to Cuba uh, through a neighboring country. So like they would if they went to say Mexico. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that that's all. The, uh, well, his name was Ford Fairlane, and so was his car. That's right, and that okay. was and the name of the movie as well. So yes, that was starring Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah, correct, Primo. And, uh, and, I need to put that back on my list, actually. I had it. I had the DVD, and then I need to... That's I don't it. know where it went. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it will slap in Ik Ben Mo, is what he said. I want to sleep. I am tired. Oh, okay. All right. So it's not slap. <laughs> Please slap me, silly. You pronounced it very good. Hey, thanks, Primo. <laughs> Ik will... No, that's a will. Ik will slap in Ik Ben Mo. Is what he said. Right? Yeah, but Dutch is yeah, tricky. no, this, I'm this, still this, no kidding. Yeah. yeah, this this model of car is very famous though, and like I said, just because it's it's a hard top convertible, which is you know goes Rare. against what most convertibles are. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Ooh, that's a nice spot. That looks familiar. It's, I've seen that place. I I know this place. That's that restaurant where we uh, you, you. This is actually where you get the coconuts. Uh, the coconut. Uh, uh, coconut rum drinks. Okay, I've been here. I know it's I just have. down the street. It's just, it's just down the street of those cannonballs. But yeah. oh, okay. Here we are back. Well, at... that, okay, Club Tropical, yeah. and the rat uh, pack used to go here. Or Tropicana, yeah. Trop Club Tropicana, Tropicana Club. Yep. yep. Uh, and that was Sammy Davis Jr. Yep. And who like all of those, all of the Rat Pack. And you know what? I've seen performances all over the world, uh, Rod. Yeah. Here. If you're and when you go into this club, uh, Tropicana Club, uh, the ladies are all you have to dress up, you have to dress up upon entry. The ladies are all given roses, the men are all given cigars, and you yep. go in, and there's four or five stages, two of them elevated, and there's yes. always six different things to look at. You can't see it all, and, and it's that's... very reminiscent of the 1950s club atmosphere. And the athleticism, Man, it's like, they were, there were these dudes that were doing gymnastics with pole, like law, and you've got a couple of photos. I know you saw the same act. I, I don't Man, think it was human to like Spider-Man couldn't do what these guys were doing. <laughs> Man, well, it, you know, it's, it's like a Victoria's Secret show with a comedy show and a, and a gymnastics yeah. show and, and a, all sorts of, yeah. you know, like Circus although, of the Stars had nothing on that. Yeah. And it's by the, the greatest way, live the, show uh, I've ever seen anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, oh, Rob. You, that is the greatest show I've ever seen. Hundred percent, man. You know, and here's the other thing too. Um, every year they always change the. Um, it's it started in 1939, and every year they always change yeah. the uh, change it from 20 uh, 2015, 2016, 2017. Every year they always change the neon lights. Yeah. Yeah, to upgrade. Yeah. So uh, just yeah. a few photos ago, we I was telling you that on that white building was Che Guevara's image in, in black uh, iron, and there it is. It's a famous building, yeah. uh, and uh, it uh, they put spotlights on it at night. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, here is Tropicana. That's missed, the sign. You missed. You missed what he well, what uh, what uh, what it said. Hasta la victoria siempre. Always see the victory. Siempre, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, well, my pronunciation is terrible. Cafe yeah, Rodney. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. I actually Rod. got a better. Yeah. You do. 
Yeah, yeah, I've actually got a better one of that of the Rodney because uh, this one they uh, they put it up with uh, just uh, uh, re a regular blink blinker lights. Whereas, like, I've got a better one that was just simply it was completely oh, neon and looks way better. Is yeah. that a Cadillac or is that the Ford Fairlane? Uh, no, it's not a Ford Fairlane. It's it's the one with it's the one with the fins. Um, it might actually, I think it might I think it's probably still a Ford. I'm not. Or is it, it that, might actually oh, be the? Uh, it starts with an. Is that the Edsel? Not the Edsel. The. Um, it might be. Um, the. Uh, shit, it's not. Is it the Edsel? I don't. Uh, Maybe it was the Edsel because, like, the Edsel was one of those. I wish I could have seen. Yeah, it was. You know, Do you remember the comic? The, the newspaper so comic remember... shoe. Shoe used to drive around in one of these. I think. Hmm. The bird, who was a writer, never. Daniel's Hot Topics says the hotel where we did not have any air conditioning except for the game room where I went to play PlayStation and Twisted Metal 2. Also, there was a kitchen where there was a buffet. Oh, yeah. Buffets in Cuba. Huh. Fantastic. Huh. Egg That's omelets. Sorry. Yeah. They will make you an egg omelet right there. Like yep. bar mitzvahs. There's a lot of food. I've never been to a bar mitzvah. Been to a few things. I've never been to a bar mitzvah. Uh, would you mind reading this from uh, Primo, leaving BC, uh, Ron? Yeah. Eugene Miskatonic. It's crazy the things that are imprinted on our brains from 20, 30 years ago. Eh? I can't remember a name or a phone number, but I'll remember a stupid joke someone said in grade four. Damn straight, man. <laughs> that is true. Uh, thank you. The Edsel Eugene Bird. Yes, I... I, we're going back a few decades, folks. I've had a lot of stuff up here, but I, I think that, yep, sure, we'll go Actually, with that. We, we, we both said Edsel, but we were kind of debating. We did. Though. Yep. Yeah. Hey, whoa. Yeah. The, Cuba and baseball, the two go to get some of the greatest baseball yeah. players ever to live were from Cuba, right? Yeah. Including Castro, apparently. Is that there, Latini, Latino Americano? That's the... Yeah. Base, that's the baseball stadium. Oh, and by the way, uh, you ever want to take the uh, uh, take in a baseball game there? First of all, baseball season is from uh, April, pretty soon yeah. actually. Yeah. From April until November. And oh, here's, shit. yeah. Okay. Oh, and not only that, every day, Sunday, uh, uh, seven days a week, every day. Uh, uh, there's crazy a, there's a base. There, uh, no, no, every day, not not <laughs> not training, real baseball game every day at two o'clock. Oh my goodness! Different teams. Yeah. Okay, not the oh, same man, the guys. They'd be dead. No, no. Okay. Well, okay. one, to, well, one, one team, but uh, well, like one team, but like you know, like every, somebody's because uh, there's a, there's always ones rotating around because there's uh, you know there's the uh, there's uh, the Havana Industriales, you know, like that's where we that's what we were watching actually. Um, and then there's uh, and then there's uh, nearby there's uh, the Matanzas. Uh, I forget that uh, I forget if that's the actual town or whatever, but like Matanzas, I believe it translates to killers. The oh, really? um, it was a cool it was a cool. Listen. I want to get I want to get uh, I got it's the Industriales. Oh, oh, hang on. Nice cigar, Cohibas. You did get Cohibas, Rod. Okay, well, that's all right. I'll keep going with the chat. Uh, in, hey, the never-ending. Uh, uh, good to have you here. Hey, thanks for being here. Uh, says, uh, did Captain Spock make a new channel, or is he going to try and get his main one back? Um, I was unaware that he had any issues. I really haven't uh, have been out of communication with him for a few months, so I... That is news to me. Uh, I don't know anything about. Yeah, I don't. Rod, do you know anything about this? I, ooh. Uh, Captain what? Cockney Spock make a new channel, or is he gonna get his main one back? I I don't have any info. I didn't even know that. I I yeah. don't know the answer to that. I don't even. I didn't even know he was having a problem. No, me neither. Oh, Rod, what do you got? Yeah. I'll put you. I'll make you big there, dude. Uh, what do you got? Ooh, ooh, you bought a 
Damn it. Good going. Nice Industri going. Industrialis. You bought that at the stadium in Cuba, at the baseball stadium. No, actually, I bought it at the uh, Mercado. Uh, uh, it's it's the like the, uh, yeah, uh, it's got the two steam engines in front of it, and um, uh, I got pictures of that too. So, like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, uh, we just saw those, Rod. Uh, but, you're yeah, talking no, but, about this place right here. Yes, that's the place, Mercado. Which uh, translates to name, name. market. Oh, mar market, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We do have Australians in the chat, and not all of them speak Spanish. Those look yeah. nice. That looks like like a hundred bucks worth of cigars, dude. It is, and like, look at that's like that's twenty five uh cigar cigar cigarillos nice. the, the the small thin ones don't know those yeah. can be smoked like a cigarette cigarette right but the cohibas no 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 the cohibas uh like they're there's no you got to do the j jonah jameson puff 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 yeah thing. that's right mr and angel like, says oh, man. my old school brain still remembering every phone number from childhood yeah me too man i remember my <laughs> um uh, uh, quite a few yep my parents still have you know that rod my parents have moved. We moved into the house when I was five in 1977. They got the phone hooked up in 1977. It has been still hooked up with the same number. And we in the kitchen, we got, you know, those those extra long phone cords that you can take into three rooms down the hall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. had to have a corded <laughs> phone. Yeah, yeah. You hang yourself on those. Yeah. They still have it. Yeah. Still remember that phone number. Yeah. You're you're absolutely right. Uh, this farmhouse yeah. that we live in that, that's right. been here since since 1976 uh still has the same phone number courtesy of me rotary 985, oh, really 9853141 yes there you go yeah. uh rotary dot yeah you didn't call anyone with a zero in you in their number very often with a rotary phone yeah that's damn sure matanza equals slaughter Thank you. That's what that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Eugene Bird. And I love the uh, and I love their uh, uh, I, lo I love their symbol. It's an it's an it's a crocodile with a, uh, a you know with a baseball bat about to swing, about to beat the crap out of something. Uh, do you <laughs> mind reading Daniel's hot topics and then making a comment on the last part that he talks about? Because I think we know why that is. Yeah. Sure. Uh, the beaches are very beautiful at Cuba. I remember the sand is so hot it was burning my feet. Yes, it did. I know. I was sitting under a palm tree, and this friendly guy gave me a can of Cuban Coke. It was sweet. Yeah, it wasn't actually Cuban Coke. It was uh, sitting in um, uh Okay, but well, it's not. It, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't actual. Uh, well, it was cola. Uh -huh. Basically, is what it is. You know, it's not. Uh, it's because. Uh, um uh, uh coke like um uh like the um uh like bacardi was tossed out because it's a, it's considered a corporation and well it is a corporation oh, and right see here's the here's the other thing too is the fact that corporations would be allowed in cuba but they don't like the idea of the cuban government uh, de uh demands that they give 51% control and ownership of their uh, property and everything that they, um, you know, uh, uh, basically they have to give over half their profits to the, uh, to the Cuban government. That's oh, the biggest shit. Yeah. That's the biggest stopping block. Yeah. But that's... at the same time, you know what else? Yeah. But you know what else? It's the way What's the that? government keeps, it's the way the government keeps a tight, uh, tight, uh, tighter uh, leash on the corporations, which is really we used to do that. You know, right, I mean, yeah. we used to, yeah. we used to have Al AGT, Alberta Government Telephones, and we also had uh, Edtel, Edmonton Telephones, which Edmonton. again both both were crown corporations uh, owned by the government, and yep. uh, and then and then no thanks to uh, I fucking hate this guy, Ralph Klein. No, yep. thanks to fucking Ralph Klein. Everybody else got happy about, hey, the Ralph Bucks, because like uh, Ralph Klein turned around and he sold off uh, the oil rights. You see, uh, now, what the yeah, oil company? Well, you see, what happened was the oil companies 
Pete, well, now, for those Davis, of you who don't know, Ralph Klein was a, is an ex premier of Alberta. Well, yeah, i.e., government lives. Yes, government. Yeah. Governor, but yeah. Uh, yeah, like but, a governor. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the, but Ralph Klein said, no, we don't need all, we don't, we're the government. We don't need to be controlling all those other sorts of, you know, he didn't, he, well, no, what it was was, Obviously, the corporations were paying them off to be able to, you know, because they didn't want to be, they didn't want to be t so tightly leashed. You know, the same right. thing with the, see, we uh, we also had Alberta government, li uh, the liquor stores. The liquor stores were also controlled by the government. And therefore. Um, Is that you? you no. Uh, brother. No, that's not. Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's me. That is you. Outside of your club, yeah, of course. Rodney. Yeah, of course. I thought so. <laughs> Yeah, at a hamburger, hamburger, and uh, uh, French fitness, French, French fries. Uh, nice, yeah, yeah. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was uh, no, I was just rattling on about like, you know, like how anyway, anyway, the, the point is the whole point behind crown corporations, they're not designed to keep a profit. The point is, is that they're supposed to keep all the other corporations in line, mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. essentially. But we don't do that anymore. We yeah, used exactly. to. But we, do. we used to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fun of yeah. Well, and you know what? There are there are pluses, and and you know what? I'd love to do another political stream with you, Rod, and we'll talk <laughs> about the 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 pros and cons. Yes, a crown corporation, if used correctly, can be of great benefit to the people. However, if the government wants to use a crown corporation as a as a tool of oppression, as in, hey, I don't like what you said the other day. I'm going to turn off your power. The government can do that. So there's pluses. Mm -hmm. I'd love to do a stream with you about that, buddy. Sure. Uh, do, you mind, do you mind reading? Um, well, because, yeah, you, yeah, I mean, you got a level head. I, li I like the way you think, Rod. We don't agree on anything. But um, you don't get <laughs> your pennies in a bunch if someone says something that disagrees with you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, do you mind reading uh, yeah. what Miskatonic Madman? We can agree to disagree. Yeah, exactly. Miskatonic Madman says Primo Living BC. I can remember the smallest details. Well, didn't we read this? Um, no. The smallest event. Oh, wait. Similar. Smallest detail. Primo Living BC. I can remember the smallest details from events or movies I saw when I was a kid, but for the life of me, I can't find my keys. Lol. <laughs> that is true, Miskatonic Madman. Oh, and, uh, the Never Dead Four says, it took me a while to figure out your name, buddy. Uh, the Never Dead Four says, uh, I didn't know if you guys still talk with him. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't get to get on here much anymore, as much anymore. Uh, I don't really talk much to Captain Finity. Um, it, for whatever reason, uh, just, I, yeah, the, where, uh, yeah, I go the opposite way of, Things like that, drama and things like that. I don't want to talk too much about it. Uh, Mr. Angel, uh, getting old can be funny. Where are my glasses? Looks for the HR to find them on my head. Yep. <laughs> uh, right, right, right. Looks for an hour to find them on my head. I have done that. Oh, I've done that. Sober. I've done that sober. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Cohibas will knock you out if you try to inhale them. Oh, we better... Yeah, the rest of the stream, we're going to talk like Cheech and Chong, okay? Uh, well, okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I wanted my... Uh, what happened there? I wanted to bring up the one thing about, uh, about uh, first of all, Cohibas. The other reason why uh, they're, call they're called that also because, like, that is the exact... Uh, see, the, uh, one of, there are many, many times that they tried to... That the CIA tried to assassinate uh, Fidel Castro. And one of the reasons, one of the ways, uh, a couple of the ways that they tried to do it was they either tried to poison his cigar or they would try, they, were, they would try to give him exploding Masters. cigars. You don't yeah. fuck with a man's cigar. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't fuck with his drink. You don't fuck with his girl. You don't fuck with his cigar. And as a result of that, the Cuban government said, okay, enough of this bullshit. And they, um, in order to do that, the, each uh, the uh, uh, the Cuban government uh, made a brand of cigar, Cohibas, uh, that were designed specifically 
for Fidel himself. And then oh. any uh, any anything extra would be sold to the public. Uh, and it was designed, uh, it was personally inspected, govern, government inspected, uh, uh, for Fidel Castro himself so that he could he could handily smoke a cigar and without having to worry about it exploding or being poisoned. And this is, by the way, and this is the other thing, by the way, I'm not a smoker. I quit smoking in 20, in 2012. I could never afford to smoke. I just smoked weed because it's so <laughs> cheap. Uh, and uh, as a result, um, well, there. Uh, uh, just as a quick side note, I mean, like I was smoke. I was a heavy. I was. I wasn't a heavy smoker. I was one of those those kinds of annoying smokers that I could borrow a uh, bum a cigarette, uh, bum a couple cigarettes for me. Oh, make sure you freeze on this. Uh, uh, this one. Yep. Um, yep. We're not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> this. Um, uh, you I was were that guy that would go around and bum smokes off people and never buy your own. You bastard. <laughs> hey, not only that, but then hey, no, hey, no, not oh, uh, no, even worse. I was more annoying than that because uh, you see, I could smoke. I could go for like weeks, w uh, weeks, months, even. Well, I never went months, but I, I could go weeks, uh, days, and or weeks without a without a smoke. I could I could sit there and watch somebody. All day, and it wouldn't, you know, wouldn't bother you at all. No, and then, the, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I'm like, "Hey, can I bum a smoke?" And they're like, "Sure, you smoke." I'm like, "Well, yeah, here and there." I'm like, "Oh, was, okay." Were you they never think about when, because I've got relatives sometimes, like that, and they sometimes I was they smoke. Sometimes I was. Sometimes I was. Sometimes I wasn't. <laughs> so, yeah. what's the story um, with this picture? What's this guy doing? Um. He's fixing his car. Yeah. But here's you the thing. You to freeze on. I love it. Yeah. But here's the thing. He, um, when he saw me and, and how big I was, because I was, a, you know, I mean, you know, 6'3", I'm a pretty strapping lad. Um, I wouldn't want to have to carry you out of the house, buddy. I mean, I would, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> yeah, and at the time I was 275, 280, I believe. Um, Damn, you're pushing. That's my limit. 15 pounds heavier than I am now. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's my limit. Uh, actually, no, you know, I probably even I was probably even pushing 285, 290, even probably. Oh, dude, anyway. I'd have to just drag you out. Then <laughs> I don't, I can't lift 300 pounds. I don't, yeah. I don't anyway, uh, my brother, my brother and I, uh, well, we uh, we'd taken a cab or we'd taken the free bus into uh, from Hotel Atlantico, which well, which was on the edge of Havana, but still. You know, still within Havana range, and um, took uh, took the bus in the free bus too. By the way, not 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 we didn't even we didn't yep. even pay. We just you know, uh, and when we got there, there was there were people who offered their guides uh, themselves as tour guides, and they take you into the deepest uh, uh, haciendas of uh, Havana. You know, the places that you would that the average person would not. Would either not go right. Right. or not be able not nice. not be able to just simply because they were just kind of like well where where am I where am I going what am I doing you know you know no it's best to have a tour guide now I'm not saying this because it's unsafe there it's not it is totally it is like no because the penalties That's are so like you don't want to get you don't want to go to jail oh no it's not that it's just simply uh, just simply because like you don't want to get lost that's all and it has nothing to do with the fact that it's not that there's crime there there's not there, well yeah you're right there's yeah because like if you know anybody who does who does well, do crime and they still have a social construct like if you're a criminal you're looked down upon you know you uh, don't you don't yeah i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to deny that but uh, yeah but on the other side of the coin Old um values maybe it's just simply because, like, it's it's really just more because, like, everybody people are so friendly there anyway. They're like they don't care. And like hey, West a perfect, uh, yeah. And a perfect example is like this dude's car. This dude with his car, he's working on his car, and all of a sudden, like, he looked at me and he saw like you know big strapping lad like myself. He's like, uh, hey, you know, and like, he asked me in Spanish, like, hey, you know, can you help me push my car? And I was like, what, really? You know, and, uh, I was like, in serio? And you know, and then he's just kind of like, see, see, you know, I just kind of, I just kind of. You know, and then I look at I look at Robin. Rob's like, "What? What is? What, what's up?" You know, and then I said to him, "Oh, he wants to uh, wants us to 
you know, help push his car. It was kind of like, because uh, I think he's going to give it a, a push start. You know, and I was like, and I was like oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, sure, sure. yeah, absolutely. old school. So, yeah. so we did. So, like, as soon as uh, me, that's that big, what guys uh, do. Big, uh, another guy asks you to help push his car. That's what yeah. you do as a guy. You help yeah. push the freaking car. <laughs> yeah, it's a bro and then, code. Soon, yeah, and then so as soon as uh, me, uh, as soon as me, the you know the turista Hulk, uh, you know, got, uh, got behind the guy's car. You know, suddenly, like, as soon as as soon as I put my hands on on the guy's uh, uh, rear hood, suddenly, like, all of a sudden, like, three other Cubans immediately rush up and oh, you know, and like they <laughs> no, they. <laughs> Uh, they uh, they chip in too, and I'm just kind of nice. like wow, you know, and then like and then That's and then awesome. like the car, yeah, and then the car fired right up, you know, and like and then the guy looked and like just man, the guy, the smile from that guy just made the re- made the rest of our day, you know. I mean, now, would those was, guys have helped out if you hadn't have started? It's hard to say. Well, I mean, like they probably no, they should you know, no, I, like, they should I, know I, the I bro just, code. No, I was just gonna say, I guarantee they would have. Yeah, they would have. Good. Yeah. Oh, but, but now that a no foreigner's doubt. helping, they they can't. They don't want to look bad. They go, "Oh, we got to help." <laughs> That's probably it. Yeah. But uh, this was so also, when, by the way, this was also minutes after I had gotten a haircut. Okay. You see, you see, here's another interesting thing. Um, uh, I was, you know, at this point, it's getting so hot, and I'm just kind of, ah, you know what? I want a haircut. I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm tired. I don't. I, screw my hair. I've, I fuck it. This place. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, okay, yeah, no, but like, uh, this is not the, uh, yeah, this is not what I was uh, go, uh, just sorry, you know, the, the car, yeah, uh, literally just like two houses, like look to your left, and then like two house, two buildings down, and like there's the Barbados, the bar, uh, barbers, and um, uh, that was something I asked the tour guide, you know, because like he showed us the cathedral, he showed us, uh, or like, well, not just the cathedral, cathedral, like the one that you you showed earlier. But a different one, like a regular one that like people were in. In fact, it was I even took pictures of uh, like people that were in it. Uh, but uh, well, because they're in mass or whatever. Um, they're they're on oh, mass. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no. Um, yeah, anyway, public. Okay. Yeah, but like I asked a guy like, uh, hey, um, do you, do you, uh, you because know, he spoke English too, perfect English. Uh, and um, I asked him, hey, you know, like I'm getting pretty hot, cause you know. Can, is there is there a barber around here and there? You know, it's like, is like that You know, I was like, CC. You know, I'm like, oh, um, and then he just points to, uh, and then he just points, just like it was just like four, four or five houses, buildings down. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, you know, and so like I went in there, you know, and then um, since I was obviously going to be there for a little while, well, long enough, anyways, at least like five, uh, five, ten minutes. My brother's like, ah, fuck this, I'm going to go get in. Uh, he went off and. He actually, uh, he went, uh, well, him and the guide went off and they got lemonade. Damn, I wish I had tried that. And it was really, really good, too. Said so not non liquor, too, by the way, not non alcoholic. Um, but here's the interesting thing, you know, like, uh, since I just didn't want to bother with worrying, worrying about combing my hair or nothing, you know, I'm just like, uh, and like I asked a barber, you know, and like, uh, they, and then they motioned to me, like, oh, yeah, sit down, you know, like, uh, and then so I do. And then, um, uh, and then, and then they're, they're like, uh, so what, you know, you know, like he point, he points, uh, points to his, uh, points to his head, you know, like, mm, what do you want? You know, and then like, and then I, had, I just, then I just look on the wall and there's a picture of a Cuban baseball player and he's, he's not wearing a hat. He's, and like, he's got like, you know, nice shaved head. And I just like, I, just, I want that, you know? And then like, uh, and then he, and then like, and then he's like, ah, see, so you know, and like, uh, and so I sat down and like, he, and then like, uh, first thing, first thing he did actually was put a hot towel on me and then like, uh, and then he shaved, like gave me, gave me like a close blade shave, you know, a hot towel. Yeah. Hot Not, towel. Yeah, cold. it. Uh, and do you know the science behind that? Because I, I read it once. Oh yeah, of course. Well, it's, it's, it's simple, man. It's just simply that like the whole reason behind a hot towel is because it opens the pores on your, on your face. And then it as a result, the can, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then, then after that, you know, like uh, then he pulled, uh, turned on the razor, zzz, you know, and then just just went to town on my hair, or well, yeah. uh, what was you know, and then uh, uh, and then you got up, you know, and then all of a sudden, like I, lo- I looked at the guy, Quando, you know, and, and like he looked at me kind of like, Quando uh, means uh, how much? Did? Yeah, 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 and then uh, uh, and then uh, he's uh, and then he looks at me, he's kind of like, 
Uh, and then he then he points to his boss, and then his boss kind of, again looked at me kind of like puzzled. What? You know, and I just kind of like, I just kind of, like, you know, and then I pull up my wallet, and I just kind of, like, and, and then he's like, e you know, and he's like, uh, eat the uh, basis, you know, and then like, uh, I was like, uh, I was like, hey, hey, uh, I was like, hey, no problema, you know, and then like, and then like I. You know, and then I, then I, I gave him ten bucks actually to, uh, you know, nice. uh, ten, uh, ten pesos, and like, you know, gave him, you know, ten, uh, two bucks each. You know, I mean, like, and then like as I came out of the store, uh, my brother had just, uh, just was walking up with, uh, with the other, uh, with the guide, and and also the guide, a uh, guide, he said he, he'd seen me do that, and he was just kind of like, why did you do that? And I was like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, you know, he said, well, you know, like, he said he points to his, and he was like, haircuts are free, you know, uh, and like uh, I was just kind of. Like, you know, I, I was like, you know, uh, yeah, oh yeah, haircuts are free. In all of Cuba? Yep. Yeah, that's a government employee that was cutting my hair. <laughs> well, I don't want to pay the taxes for that. That. Yeah. Well, any, uh, boy, anyway, but it was damn cool. <laughs> but that's like, cool. Was, <laughs> but like I, to, but I told the guy, I was like. But you're not a Cuban. Did they think you were I told, Cuban? Yeah, uh no. They might have, you know, but I mean, on the other hand, I looked at him and just kind of, like, hey, I'm I'm a foreigner. I, I, I said, I just, yeah, I just want to put money into the economy, you know, uh, I put money into the economy. Story. And he was just kind of, like, and he was just kind of, he was just kind of, like, he was kind of, like, wow. He was like, yeah, that's that's really nice. You good for you, you know. Uh, and then um, a free haircut in uh, Cuba. You just have to pay six hundred or four hundred dollars for a flight. Yeah. <laughs> Return. Yeah. Yeah, and then or we the all inclusive. Uh, like like we've both been yeah. to all inclusives, and actually, uh, yeah. booking an all inclusive resort, even if you don't intend to stay at the resort, is an excellent way to to get cheap flights down back and forth to Cuba. Uh, and uh, th those type of flights usually serve you champagne on on the flight there because it's a uh, Caribbean holiday cruise. At least from Canada, they do. Uh, WestJet does, and. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, it's just a fantastic place to go visit. But I don't know if you'd want to go there just for a haircut. Maybe you'd get a manicure and a pedicure at the same time. Does the government oh, pay probably. for manicures, Rod? That's the question. That I cannot tell you. I just asked for a haircut. I didn't want. I didn't, I didn't want my nails done. Or <laughs> done. Or yeah. Now, see, in Canada, the government won't pay if you want to get a haircut. The government's not going to pay for that. But if you want to kill yourself, the government will totally help you with that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, not just that. But if the if, if the government wants, uh, yeah, if you want to, uh, um, oh Jesus, yeah, I know what you're gonna yeah. say. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, we can talk about. I mean, fuck it. I I don't think YouTube is ever gonna monetize me. So if we want to talk about, you know, genital mutilation. What are they gonna do to me? Nothing. You can't um, do anything to me. Anyway, okay, actually, that was, do you mind that reading? Wasn't it. And I, I actually completely lost my train of thought. And anyway, let's get back onto the chats here. Yeah. yeah uh, so let's yeah, see. We, we've been. Oh, <laughs> we've been two hours. We are into Rod's uh, photos. Are huh. halfway through here, maybe. So yeah. another three, four hours, we should be finished, uh, folks. Huh. Uh, when Rod and I get going, Rod, you are one of the first people that I've ever streamed that I, I ever met. On YouTube. Oh, thanks! One of the first wow. people I've ever streamed with. Well, through Cardinal huh. Sin, I think we we streamed. Yes, through him. Uh, do you mind, uh, Rod? Can I ask you? Do you mind reading a, a fellow uh, BC person? Uh, yeah, a fellow tradesman. Hello. Yeah, Primo Living BC says, "I'm a plumber, and I know from, and I know for sure that we could have our own oil refineries up here and running in a year or less." We have the skilled trades to do it. It's just the politics and the greed stopping it from happening. Yes, you're right. There's right. another. There's another reason why. Uh, why uh, uh, one thing that's, excuse me, not stopping it from happening, or uh, would be easier to get a coin. Uh, no, actually, I, I said you. I, I told you this before. Where you are living is unceded land. BC. Ah. But, but if we involve the natives, if we involve the native communities, and I'm not talking about the band because the bands, the, the head of the bands tend to be, 
they can be corrupt, same as any politics. But if you get the oh, yeah, people no. involved, I mean, like, if you get the actual yeah. people, um, can it can it be a win win situation for everybody? It could, yes, could. Um, keyword there. <laughs> Right. We're going to, Rod, I'd love, okay, we're going to do a Canadian <laughs> political uh, show. We're, man, yeah, we got to do that. We do got to do Chris, that one time. You're, you're, a, you're a fellow citizen who, who, and although we don't agree on everything, we, we both want the best for Canada and we both sort of have the same, we have a lot more in common than we have. Uh, uh, the uh, biggest uh, thing we want uh, is for people, not. is for the people, really. Yeah, exactly. We we have more in common than we have uh, uh, not in common, and and I think that um, you read. See, I, I can have a political discussion <laughs> with guys on, and they can sh spout their opinions, but they don't watch. They don't watch parliamentary channel. I spent six hours today watching parliamentary committee Damn. Uh, channels in 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 Canadian Parliament. Um, and you're well read, so I'd love to have a conversation. Anyway, this is not. Uh, this is not that stream. This is Cuba. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but, let's just hey, you the, can't because... bring up Cuba without talking politics. You really can't. <laughs> but it was fun. Well, of course uh, not. Do you, mind, no. do you mind reading Suzanne Eckstein's uh, uh, comment, please? And she's sure. right. She's absolutely correct. Sounds like a, cons a conspiracy theory, but she is actually correct. Huh. Yeah. Spider-Man, the Canadian government, just shut off the water to the B.C. Shushuap peoples. So they can't fight the wildfires. That happens. Yeah. Well, then the fires get it. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, primo. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Angel. Yep. I'm pretty angry by the time we pass the mirror. It makes it even funnier. <laughs> oh, when he leaves his glasses on his forehead. And then he oh, walks yeah, by yeah. the mirror and he's been spending oh, yeah, an hour yeah, yeah. looking yeah. for them. Yeah. I get it. Okay, we're behind. Okay, we're catching up with the chat. Sorry, sorry, folks. Yeah. Uh, Carla Burton says Captain Finnevy just hates him as soon as someone says something he doesn't approve. Well, yeah, um, uh, yeah, Carla Burton, West Cagle, great to see you, West Cagle. Um, I've been seeing you a lot all over the place on my streams, West Cagle, and, and uh, same as Suzanne Eckstein, and uh, huh. I appreciate it. Um, I, I, Bro, don't know I wish smoking is my downfall. Sorry, I was just saying, like, just reading the chat. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, Suzanne Eckstein says, Prima agreed. In Saskatchewan, we have our oil rigs. Saskatchewan has not as much oil as Alberta, but it has a fair bit. And I think they have more potash, which is used for steel production, I think, if memory serves. I also believe the selenium content is slightly higher than here in Alberta. Oh, and selenium is good or bad? Bad. It means oh, you got to okay. process it. it. Means you got to oh, process oh. it. Oh, not not oh, that okay. not that Alberta is anything right anything worth writing home about. I mean, like, uh, here's something by the by the way, and here's <laughs> something for all you damn capitalists out there. They're all everybody's always just kind of like, well, why doesn't Alberta buy its own oil? Why can't we have our own oil? Well, we do. Why can't we? Guess what? Why can't we? We got to refine it though. And the only refineries in St. John, New Brunswick, are one of them. Holy shit. Okay, well, we, we've been not paying attention to the chat. So we're going to do chat and well, pictures at the same time. Well, one, well, well, see, one of the, well, no, what I'm trying to say is that uh, it costs one and a half barrels of oil sand to pro proce process one barrel of oil. Now, you're running in a little bit of a deficit there, aren't you there, what? Sonny Boy? For for what uh, for what now? I said that it costs you one and a half, one point five barrels of uh, of oil uh, of oil sands to process one barrel of oil from the oil sands. You're running at a bit of a deficit there, Sonny boy. And and what's the source for that? Because I, that that begs the question: Why would they be doing it for the last twenty years if that was actually if it costs them more than they're making? Do you really have to ask? 
Well, it's <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Who? Knows? So what's uh, no, no, where's no, this? No, Rod? Here's, see, back to Cuba. The, no, the, 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 back to Cuba. I, I, back to Cuba. <laughs> I just want sorry. I just want to finish uh, finish saying this. Uh, the other reason why I know this is simply because of years of reading, uh, reading uh, books and uh, magazines and everything in the uh, you know based on you know what uh, what's produced here in Alberta. You know the oil and oil sands. Secondly, uh, the other thing is is that uh, I actually learned this from. Uh, I didn't realize this about the selenium content. I learned it actually from believe it or not a tour right down there in Cuba. And that is the very first time we were down there. Uh, we went, well, we went on to a, uh, we went on to a tour, you know, like a year, you know, like a tour, tourist, tourist bus, and went, it went around and you, you toured the uh, street lined with the cannonballs and like the, uh, and the uh, cathedral there and everything, which by the way yeah. is uh, very famous. They actually have a lot of free music at yes. the, uh, at the, uh, okay. at the cathedral. You know, is that uh, the Ryan you're talking about? Maybe. Suzanne, is that uh, Suzanne Eckstein says William? It sure is a sexy ride. Is that the car you're talking about, Suzanne? Sorry, Rod, go ahead. No, oh, that's a Pontiac, by the way. Uh, Forty-seven. Uh, the um, as I was saying, the um, we were ta uh, taking a tour, and then the uh, the guy that was uh, he said that uh, Cuba, ju uh, just like uh, 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 Canada and uh, other countries. Uh, they export their own oil too. However, the selenium content in uh, in uh, in uh, that comes out of Cuba, I believe it's like in the fifty uh, low fifties, which is a which is you know I mean mi translation, it's a low quality oil. It doesn't mean you still can't process it uh, and sell it and make something out of it. It just means it's not as much worth as much money. If I remember correctly, Alberta was like forty seven percent. But a really, really, really good um, uh, selenium content is actually Arab oil, and it's uh, forty-one percent or less. Which, again, it's just one of those weird factoids that just stuck in my head when I was taking the tour. You know, <laughs> I know it's just weird. But like, Did it rain but, while you're watching the bait? Like that's a and good use of the word factoid, yes, by did. the way, uh, Rod. You yes, don't hear did. factoid that much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it, did it? Yeah. Did it piss rain? Did they have to call the game or something or postpone it? Yeah. Yes, they did. Um, we had uh, see. We were there during hur hurricane season, which was in Havana. Uh, Is this the yes. biggest stadium in Cuba? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, it's the it definitely one. is up there. Estadio Latino Americano. Yes. Yeah. And, okay. Oh, so that, yeah, that is the yeah. Okay. Oh, and by the way, the other thing too, but is that uh, holy cow! How much is a hockey game up here? How much is a baseball game up here? Right? Yeah. Well, go to you know, go to Havana. You know, and we went to see the oh, and uh, the Industriales. Um, the, the ball team. 70, yeah. Yeah. Seventy-five cents each. What? Me and my what? brother. Yep. You paid nope. 75 cents to get okay, so it was forty dollars for a beer. No, and twenty dollars for a hot dog. You're gonna no, you're gonna hate me. You're you're gonna this is this see, this is probably the Dude, price. I you can't pay. hate you. You're so <laughs> no, fun. no, this no, this is the price. You're a genuine this good human being. I can't hate you, man. <laughs> I can't hate Thanks. you, Ron. Because no, you know what? Man. You you are a genuine guy. You don't you don't bullshit. Oh uh, see this uh this is where, uh, but this is this is the price you pay for the uh, for the low price in the uh, uh, in uh, the baseball, and that is they uh, beer is outlawed at the uh, baseball park. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you can't sit there like Homer Simpson, uh, or well, you you have, well, it you have to sit there like Homer Simpson, like urine than other what. Beers. I, well, if you ban the sale of alcohol, you probably have less smell of urine around the ballpark, I suppose. Mm, I didn't really notice any. I've never noticed any real <laughs> big problem with that before, oh, okay. anyway. No, but... Never mind. No, uh, that was just me. <laughs> no, I never get, mind. I, I, a personal I, I, problem. Never mind. <laughs> hey, oh, these guys are cool. Hey, I didn't know we need to. 
Uh, but uh, the other thing too is, like I said, they called. They had to call in at the bottom of the seventh because the, uh, that's when the uh, storm moved in, and it oh, was a okay. bloody. It was a bloody ass storm. It was like, uh, you, uh, you think it rains uh, bad like here, and uh, you know, I mean, you think we have a bad rainstorm here in in uh, BC or Alberta? No shit, no. Well, okay, maybe you do way down in uh, Vancouver. I know no, because I've been no, there. I'm five out. No, I'm in the countryside, buddy. I'm I'm okay. five hours but, east. I yeah. Why but, did you yeah, send no. me this photo? What the hell is this, Rod? Oh, that's a uh, that's uh, uh, that's just a sandwich. It's a it's a it's a it's a ham uh, ham and cheese uh, sandwich. Yeah, that, okay. that, that's the that's the snack in the middle of the middle of the afternoon because like no. um, at the hotel at Hotel Atlantico, there's only they only serve yes. breakfast and uh, breakfast and supper. They don't they oh. don't serve lunch. A lot of Latino, uh, 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 you know, Central American countries are like that, yeah. Because uh, it's too hot yeah, a day for anyone to make any food. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, do you mind you know, reading like, this from from our friend Primo living BC, if you don't mind, Rod? Yeah, Suzanne, I really feel like we're living in an episode of The Simpsons. Canada is The Simpsons. There's no monorail here, and there never was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the. Oh, so that's the guy that I thought was like a religious, like an, an Amish or dude. No, no, and, no, and you're that's... saying that's a cowboy hat. Yeah. So this is he, this, uh... so there's two buildings, and one has has Che Guevara in the similar ironwork. Yep. And who's this fella? And what is he saying? Bo both of these, both of these guys Viva died. Una Fidel. Yeah. V v Viva. Oh, long life Fidel Castro. Yeah, long long live Fidel. Yeah. Who is he? I don't know that yeah. guy. Uh, well, no, he's one of the he's one of the uh, one of the main guys of the uh, main uh, one of the main guys of the revolution. Uh, again, also like again, he was uh, trademarked by. Uh, I mean, again, I don't, man, my, I'm absolutely angry at myself for uh, for brain farting because like I'm gonna put him in my in my book too. Um. Uh, but no, this is uh, this is this is one of the two guys uh, instrumental in creating the. Uh, the, the revolution. Uh, yeah, the re uh, revolution. And uh, but then, like this oh, guy, mysterious. Is it like Paco? De... Yeah, I see. I studied this, and yeah, in history. Well, yeah, a while ago. Yeah. It's a couple of decades. Well, the reason why it looks. Well, the reason why it looks like Osama ago. bin Laden is this is because of it that. Does angle. look like yeah. Osama bin Laden. But he's wearing, but he's wearing a cowboy hat. That's why. And a beard. You know, well, a, every guy yeah, he, with a beard like that kind of looks. Every white guy with a beard. Well, Castro actually didn't have a beard tank. until actually afterwards, when he uh, when he famously went into the uh, forest, and uh, right. actually he got interviewed by the CBC, by the way. By the CBC. Yeah, it's actually. Uh, in fact, I have a. Uh, one really? of these days, I'll, I'll have the, to the show. The Canadian have to... Broadcasting Corporation. It's a government. Um, well, it's sort yep. of like China state media or Russia state. It is literally funded by the state, and somehow we were okay with that for the last fifty years. Well, because they used to be neutral. They used to be neutral. Well, no. See, well, the problem is, is that or, uh, or CBC, did they? Or did they? Well, well, no. See, the CBC used to be a crown corporation. It still is supposed to be, but it's not. And see, what notice it. Uh, the last, 69 notice percent the last, of the budget from the federal government. One yeah, but that's a, a billion. Yeah, but the whole. Yeah, but the whole. I point downloaded their that, budget. I I saved it actually. Yeah, but the whole point behind that was is because that what they're supposed supposed to do, is offer a fair and balanced uh, view of the media. As a result, it's supposed to keep the rest of the media in line. That's the whole point behind the Crown Ooh, Corporation. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Dude, uh, uh, by the way, you, Suzanne you, XD, you, you, you don't you don't totally remember your shit. You can totally spell <laughs> and say shit in this chat. Uh William Shakespeare Berg and any other wrench in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, we, we any a language. I don't censor. I believe in free speech. We have <laughs> laws against hate speech. We have laws against uh libel. Um and uh, yeah, I don't believe in censorship. So say whatever you want in the chat, folks. As long as you're not, <laughs> if you're mean to each other, 
that's where we have a problem. As long as there's respect and we act like adults, you can say whatever the fuck you want in my chat. I do not care. Just treat each other with respect. Hello, the lovely Sherry. Oh, shit. All right. We're uh, slack on the chat. Uh, Suzanne, I feel like this is primo living. Uh, the violence where I live is way out of control. I'm an hour outside of Vancouver. Dude, uh, you need to come east uh, four more hours. Come to the Okanagan. There's no violence here. Except <laughs> in hockey. Oh, my God. If we get out playing hockey, yeah. Well, there's <laughs> uh, Canadian Spider-Man, is that photo yours or Rod's? I'd love to get a copy of it. Uh, which photo? All of these have been Rod's for the last... Uh, 45 minutes. We've been on rods for 45. We're working. <clears throat> I don't have to be anywhere. Do you have to be anywhere, Rod? Nope. Uh, no, and I'm not working tomorrow, so. Perfect. Neither am I. Ha! Yeah. And when Rod and I get together, ha! damn, I could talk for you. Like, I mean, I could sit there and keep you for yeah. hours, man. I mean, just so I'm not in love with you, just so people don't get the wrong impression. I'm not in love with Rod. <laughs> But I do love this man. Uh, we could talk for hours. And Loving someone and being in love is different. And besides, I have a girlfriend. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and neither of us are that way. Uh, William Shakespeare in the chat says, <laughs> the beige sedan with the eyelash lids and the front lights and rain flares on the windows. Yep. It almost sounds Asian. Uh, Penticton? I grew up in Penticton. It's bad then. Penticton's a little tiny. Really? You know, you, huh. you got 20 good old boys go down there with who are raised right. You'll sort out Penticton right quick. We yeah. just have to raise our kids right, Rod. Teach them to respect each other. And, and yeah. you know, that's it. Well, um, you know, you know, Fidel was only... Uh, What's the color of that old? car? Oh, Mr. Angel. All right. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Rod. Fidel was, was how old? Say, I was going to say Fidel was uh, 10 years old when he convinced the workers on his de on his dad's um, uh, sugarcane farm to uh, uh, protest for higher wages from his own dad. Wow. Needless to say, he got grounded. Uh, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Mr. Angel in the chat is asking, what color, what is the color of that car? I'm colorblind. I'm assuming you're talking about this car. Oh, it's green. Well, not no, it's not that you need to be more specific. That's like an aquamarine. There's some turquoise okay, in there. Well, okay. I, I see a blue in there, don't you? Like a, it's definitely predominantly green, but isn't mm, it like a turquoise? I'd, I'd put it more as a light, light green, like a mint. Okay. Well, you saw yeah. it in person, so that's like a mint yeah. green, maybe like some of the cup, like Easter eggs. Okay, Easter. Uh, my brother's kids were painting Easter eggs today. Uh, I I didn't go over and help. Instead, I helped. <laughs> I didn't help with them. I, I prepared for the show instead. Um, yeah. Do you see any blue in that color at all, Rod? Any turquoise? No. No? Maybe turquoise, but I mean, like, uh, you know, I mean, still, but seems really right. more of a, you know, as I said, I mean, like a, a mint, kind of a bright, bright a green, light. really. Okay. Fair enough. So there, there's your answer, uh, Mr. Angel. <clears throat> wow. Wow, what is this? That's a church. I love going yep. to see churches in, in foreign uh, countries because the architecture. They spend a lot of money. Um, yeah. You know, you know, they I mean, I'm sure they help the, the poor a little, but they certainly do like to spend money on the architecture. Damn, that's beautiful, yeah. Rob. That's in hot excuse me, how about oh, yeah. oh yeah, the, yeah, but uh, you know. That's definitely away from the uh, tourist uh, tourist junctures. Okay, uh, so keeping up with the chat because we do like our chat. Primo Living BC says, "Oh yeah, I read that already." <clears throat> I grew in Pectin, and it's bad. 
Penticton, Penticton, it's bad out there now. Uh, base Dean, what's the color of the car? Okay, uh, moving on. Me too. Red, green, the curse of the blue eyes. Oh, William Shakespeare. That was a, a mint, well, a lighter green. Uh, some would say turquoise. Some would say lighter green. Uh, it's speculative. See, we're human because I really don't know what you're seeing. It's hard to tell. Monochrome here, Mr. Angel. Oh, I was definitely, it, that car was all one color. It was definitely all one color. Yeah. So, yeah, it wasn't the two-tone of any kind. And uh, would you mind uh, reading what uh, Primo Living BC has to say, Rod? So Primo Living BC says, Suzanne, I have family in Picton, Penticton. The drugs, the crime, and the homelessness was bad when I was there last four years ago. I can't believe there. Uh, I can't believe people are still turning a blind eye. Yeah, and right here in uh, Edmonton too. William Shakespeare says, "Hi, Carla Burton. I've been mostly silent tonight." William Shakespeare is one of the biggest supporters uh, of this channel, and. Um, You've been on two Thursday night travel talks with Spideys, at least. Uh, you're welcome anytime, buddy. Carla Burton. And Carla Burton, who has also been a co-host of Thursday Travel Nights. Uh, thanks, Carla. Happy oh, and by days. the way. Yes. Note the, note the score on the, uh, if you can zoom in at all. <laughs> if you can, you can. <laughs> Here, let me. No, I'll. Okay, we've got that, and I'll just enhance, enhance. <laughs> it's not working. Enhance. <laughs> um, okay, I'll just tell you. No. Uh, right up until the seven, uh, seven, uh, bottom of the seventh, no. it's it says zero 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 zero. Okay. No. Nope. Yep. Nobody scored. Well, they, uh, there were there were plenty of hits. You know, but then, like, they'd either caught them or, well, no, they, they were always caught. That's how damn good they were. It was like, wow. It was just, yeah. Wow. Because the defense was so good. Yeah. All right. Both uh, we're teams. falling behind on the chat here. Uh, do you mind reading what uh, Primo uh, BC uh, is saying? And I'll keep going through the yeah. photos. <clears throat> Suzanne, I'm starting a new channel and I'm re recording all the new uh, all the tent cities to put them on the internet. We know where the news. We know the news will never talk about it. Oh, damn straight! I'll send you the channel once I get going. Hey, good for you. Right on. Hey, Primo. Uh, uh, Primo take... Living BC. If you need, uh, yeah, um, someone to advertise, you, you just let me know. I'll I'll shout you out. So that's a cool wall. Did you? So are we admitting to another crime here, uh, Rod? Did you do this? Allegedly? Huh. I'd like to admit, but no, I don't have anything to. Well, no, I don't have anything to admit, first of all. Uh, and I just, I just, whoa, what, what's my name doing on the thing? Oh, cool. Uh, well, I'm definitely taking a picture <laughs> of that. Ooh, what are these? Oh, well, of course we know what those are because that's in the uh, the birthplace of the of those very same drinks. So of yep. course we had to have some Hemingway. daiquiris. Yep, yep. Hemingway's uh, bar in in Havana, Ernest Hemingway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, Susan Eckstein says, "Primo yuppers, I was there four years ago for my mom's funeral. Uh, it was bad. I just stayed in our motel room. So you're talking about Vancouver." And I'm sorry to hear about your mom's funeral, uh, Suzanne Eckstein. That is something that, yeah, I haven't had to go through yet. But um, come in, Los Enfuegos. I don't know why it's uh, the, that's him. That's the guy with the cowboy hat that's in the uh, on oh. the wall there. Oh, what what was his name? Camilo Sinfuegos. Huh. I don't know. I forget what chameleon without means. fire. The the no. the inflammable, no, fireproof so you're, chameleon. You're, you're, you, you, got, fireproof you got fireproof chameleon. You got, 
you got fire, correct? But I mean, like, uh, the, I don't, I, I don't know what is uh, what chameleon well, means. Well, but, sin, uh, sin means without, chameleon. so it's the but, fireproof oh. chameleon. Uh, no, Sin Fuegos is a hundred fires. Oh, Sen, Sen, or, sorry, a thousand. Yeah, oh. Sen Fuegos. You know, so uh, it's either without it's either fire a or a thousand. It's a lot of fire or no fire. It's, <laughs> there's no in between, folks. It's very extreme in Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, yeah. thanks, Mister Angel. Thanks you. Thank you. Uh, this channel is for entertainment. But I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, the more uh, the more people that hit the like button and the share button, uh, maybe the more people that will find some yeah. uh, humor and well, we have twelve people watching out of this. We we do uh, we have a dozen people. Uh, the like button tastes like blueberries, and it's free. Huh. That is true. I, when I first started on YouTube, uh, like right around the pandemic lockdowns, that's why I, I know you. That's why I know anyone here. Uh, yeah, I thought the, I wasn't sure. Like, does it cost money to put it in the chat? Does it, it does if I hit the like button? Does that cost money? The subscribe? Like, what do you mean subscribe? Do you have my email? No, none of that. It's just a metric that YouTube uh, uses uh, to tell how much people are interested in the show and how much they should promote it and suggest it to other people. It's nothing yeah. as nefarious. I mean, hopefully, it's not nefarious. Oh, got a primo. Primo Living BC says, uh, Suzanne, I just subbed to you. I'll send you the channel. I've seen people with machetes on hard drugs. It's nuts. Huh. The cops seem to not care about it. You know, they are understaffed, though. Well, you know, yeah, that's true. But you know what? Um, I worked in Whistler Ski Resort in a hotel before the Olympics, building up to the Olympics. And you want to talk about understaffed? We still made it happen. We were understaffed, and we just did what needed to be done. So, oh my goodness! Wow, the chat is on fire here. Uh, Spider Man, huh. West Kegel is great. Yeah, West Kegel is great. You know, tell me that. Uh, Suzanne Eckstein says to Rod, "Well, Rod, do you want to read that?" Yeah, uh, Rod. Yes, yes, yes. C C C C C C. Hundred percent. Thanks for being here, everybody. Wow, this you know what? Uh this is a hell of a stadium hot no. dog roulette. A real man's game. Oh dear God. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it be hey, 75 cents to go in. I'll take me chances. Suzanne Dolan says, ooh, William Shakespeare Berg. Ooh, blueberries and ice cream sounds great. So good now. Ah. Uh, more of the strawberries with the ice cream. Looks yeah, like me Osama too. Bin Laden. It does look like Osama Bin Laden. And Carla Burton, don't worry about spelling it. Like, I do not give a shit about whatever censorship uh, YouTube wants to put on. I'm about free speech. Really? You know, it looks like Osama was... Bin Laden? It looks like Osama Bin Laden? Or does Osama Bin Laden decide that, you know what? I like this fucking... Uh, Iron structure that was created in 1973. Uh, that was, yeah, well, he was alive. I mean, he was 20. Yeah, he's probably like a yeah, you know, probably like a teenager or something. Ooh, know. chocolate covered chocolate covered blueberries. I've had those. They're delicious. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you mind reading this from uh, Daniel's Hot Topics? And yeah, wow, the chat is on. Fire I remember this you know, one I... beautiful. What? Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. So Daniel's hot topic says, I remember this one beautiful day. The sun was shining. It was hot. The sand was burning. My feet hurt, but it was not enough for me to get off it. Anyway, I went to a little hut and I got a little pina colada. Mm, nice. Delish, too. Especially down PBS there. PBS of Canada. Yes, that is. Yep. It is so cool and peaceful. Hey, Susan Dolan. Susan Dolan. See, I have I had a pub in, in my hometown of Fredericton called Doolan's. I used to go there a fair bit. So it's yeah. easy for me to mispronounce your name. 
Oh, West Kegel. West Kegel. Hey, man, it's really good to, to see you here. Uh, yeah. Kane, Spider Man. Never mind. I appealed it and they just restored my account. It might be because when I appealed, they told the folks at Twitter to go run themselves in the other details box. Okay, good. <laughs> you should go tell Twitter to go fuck themselves. I, they, you know what? That might have helped. If it, if it, if it needs to be said, see, I'm not about excessive profanity. I, I like, I mean, you know, we're Canadians, Rod. We like to be polite. But if someone needs to be told to go fuck you, yeah, sorry. If there needs to be told, then it needs to be told. You know, if if there is someone that needs to be told, then it needs to be told. Yep. <clears throat> sorry. In, in a polite, you know, I'm sorry, but fuck you is the Canadian uh, way. <laughs> uh, Mr. Angel says, my day starts on this side of the planet. Breakfast time. Have a great day. Night all. Oh, yes. Mr. Angel is on the other side of the planet. Good to have you here. It is, uh, well, it's not even midnight here. It's only 1140, Rod. We've been going two hours and a half. Hey, have you, uh, I just realized, we, uh, you never put the stream up on uh, uh, Stark Stark Tower, did you? I, there's enough, no, I yeah. didn't. No. Oh, there, okay. You know, a lot of the private chats, they get inundated with so many people blasting so many things. I, you know what, if they want to come see it, they know where I am. Yeah, no, you got a good point there. Yeah, I, I don't want to push it on a, in a, anyone. You know, Canadians don't like to be pushy. Do you mind reading? Um, <laughs> do you mind read? And can you see the next one as well? Yep. Any? Uh, oh. Okay, the folks. Uh, yeah, if you uh, can read. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. If the chat will st stay still, yes, I can. Sorry. Anyway, later on, found a little hut on the beach with a bunch of people. My folks were there. And there's a little buffet table, chips and dip and other food. I was about to eat some chips. Hmm. Nice. I'm guessing they would be... No. Folks on oh, Spidey's channel, go. I do believe you're allowed to... <laughs> Folks on Spidey's channel, I do believe you're allowed to curse in any language. And if you do need assistance in any particular language, please just ask. No, seriously. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm right on. Thanks, William Shakespeareberg, Spiegelberg. Those that last name sometimes tends to. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah anyway, they, we're back at the we're back at the Hotel Atlantico again, and this is again the uh, the beachfront, uh, the just the beachfront part that's just. Basically, yeah, it hide, hides in the bushes so you can just nicely, you know, uh, just stare at people on the beach who are going past. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Spidey, are you still around? Oh, yeah, sorry. I had, I, holy jeez, I had to pee. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm just going to, oh. Jedi Bill. Sense. Jedi Bill's here. Hey, Jedi hey, Bill. Hey, Jedi good Bill. Of the channel. You Thank you so much. Yeah, good so, to see you, so, brother. So you're, where you were staying was pretty much like in, like had lots of greenery, lots of plants. Man, that's that's what I say. I mean, like, uh, it's you a know, I mean, like, island. That's just it. I mean, they, they call it, they call, uh, you know, while well, the guide said it was a, like a three star resort, but I'm like, damn, man, it was not a three star resort. I mean, shoot! They even had like a computer for, uh, you know. I mean, you had to pay. You had to pay, like ten bucks for like two hours time. But like, man. Yes. You know. Yep. Familiar with that. Uh, Daniel's hot topics in the chat says I was about to eat some chips and dip. Oh, when my dad told me don't eat the dip, and I saw a huge butterfly in it. It was a dead giant butterfly in the dip, and another one came and stood on it. And and I was I was. I was like, ew. <laughs> so, okay, so, so you were, you, because there was a butterfly in your dip, or you were, you, because it was dead, or, well, no, you probably were okay with all of that, but you were, you, because the other one came and didn't care about the dead. Like, I wouldn't stand on a, like, if a human died, I wouldn't just stand on them. I mean, unless they, to save my life. Well, 
Hollywood. I mean, once you're I dead, I mean, you don't care. I mean, once I'm dead, you can do whatever you want with my body. I don't give a shit. You use it as well. Who knows? Maybe, age. maybe. Who knows? Maybe it was a um, butterfly's mate. You know? Maybe he was quite no. Oh, oh, oh that's romantic. You turned a, a disgusting thing into a romantic. Wow, that's <laughs> why Rod is a romance sci-fi writer. Uh, Rod, uh, published, published. And you're working on well, your I mean, see through well, love, I mean, folks. See through love, yeah. and we will put the link in the chat. Well, and the other thing too is like you, you got to think about it from the same thing. I mean, like uh, I said, hey, to Frank you, or I, Steve is here. <laughs> hey, Rick or Steve. Hey. No, uh, you. Fucking right, we're masculine. Cheers, yeah, cheers, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. This is the Mercado. Uh, uh, man, I, the name again. The name escapes me. I should have. I should. I probably should have just re reread my own blogs on uh, on on it. But like, this is the uh, this is the waterfront Mercado where they uh, where they sell all kinds of really really cool Cuban yeah. shit, man. Like, you know. Sorry to hear that, Suzanne Eckstein, uh, Canadian Spider-Man. You were wrong, my dear. Penticton has crime, drugs, and a homeless problem. Damn, really? I mean, I've driven yeah. through there a lot. That's too bad. Well, it is a tourist spot. Um, but, yeah, I mean, BC is the most expensive province in Canada, so that's what you get. Hello to Jedi Bill. Uh, Mr. Angel says, two croissant with brie, toast with parma Parmesan cheese, ham, and poached hey, eggs. Star Kavarius here. Yogurt with kiwi, Indian cha, freshies. You know, I always ask. See you later. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, that's your breakfast. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, my Star Kavarius here. Star Kavarius. No oh, shit. Hey, oh holy crap! Where are we getting all these people from? What's Pleasant the Valley what? Pickers here. Hey, hello to you. Holy crap! Hey. I didn't PVP. see Stark of Iron. Where's Stark of Iron? Oh, there's Stark of Iron. Holy crap. Yeah. Hey, you folks. Wow. All right. We're, uh, well, we're almost there. We're, we're close. Uh, does that mean it costs more with the butterfly, like the worm and the tequila? Yes, you pay more for the butterfly. Everyone is saying hello to each other. And uh, moving on with the slideshow presentation of Cuba. Yeah. Well, it would be, it would be uh, I need a producer. Wow, Rod, are those naked ladies in a fountain? No, that is the fountain right outside the, the Tropicana Club. Ah, the, the Club Tropicana, yes. Very beautiful. Once again, uh, since we have a few, pe few new people here, I'd like to remind again that... Uh, uh, I know everybody gets a little touchy with, you know, uh, uh, with the with the government and with uh, Fidel. Like, hey, he kicked out the mafia. Yeah, well, guess what? Uh, had he not kicked out the mafia, you wouldn't have uh, Las Vegas, Vegas would not exist. Wes yeah. Cagle says, hey, Jedi Bill, hope you're feeling better. Hope uh, I saw that you said that you weren't feeling well yesterday or the day before. Oh, hey, really? Thanks for bringing that up, uh, Wes Cagle. Jedi Bill, man, I hope you're feeling better. Um, hopefully this this picture of this what kind of car is this? It makes you feel better, or at least takes your mind off it. Uh, Rod, what kind of car is that? No, idea. I can't be. I can't be for certain, to be honest with you. I Where's wouldn't pop be, culture I, curator. He might I'm, know. I might almost say it's uh, DeSoto, but I'm some oh, part of me. Says... Okay, DeSoto, yeah. Yeah. I know that name. It's Electrolux Vacuum Green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, Suzanne X team. Yeah, <laughs> actually. <much> <laughs> wow. No one knows Electrolux. Anyone under 40, they don't know Electrolux. No, not at all. Uh huh. Um, do you mind reading what Mr. Angel says? Monochrome, color, uh, monochrome, colorblind means I see no color at all. I remember color, though. Yeah, that's funny because uh, that makes me to think to myself that, you know, 
I don't know if you remember, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but people who are blind uh, from birth, they don't have dreams. Sorry, Susan. But people who, um, you know, but people who are blinded during their lifetime, like they go blind during their, you know, like I.E. Matt Murdock, yeah. you know, they do have dreams. They do have dreams wow. because they remember colors. They remember everything. They remember how everything was. They would. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So who are these people, uh, Rod? And I uh, like her see. legs. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> All right, is this oh, airport buddy. security? Uh, at, did uh, did you Buffalo ask for a cavity search from her? Security data. Security dot. Yeah, security. no, no, I didn't. Security dot. But uh, I wish I could have. I wish you could have dug up my other. Uh, well, I probably could. It would have took me longer. Though I never thought about. It. I should have. Um, well, we can do because a part I got two, some. I got some. I got we some. Can do a part I got some. Two. Okay, yeah, okay, because uh, I got some other uh, like of my first trip to trip to Cuba. I, I mean, like I literally held held my, uh, hold, held my camera and pretended to be not looking, and, and then I'd kind of sort of yeah. click, take a picture. Yes, then, yeah, of course. Uh, oh, you got to turn the uh, the sound off your shutter, though. Oh yeah, you of course. Turn the sound uh, off. Oh, your, is that that's a uh, security guard down on the beach? There, he's in full clothing. That looks shitty. Not really. I mean, they're used to it. And then the other thing, too, is the fact that here's another interesting thing. That dude ain't got no gun. He No, they don't because Cubans don't have guns. No. And uh, well, it's well, no, because he's because uh, I mean, like he's he's a he's a cop. Yeah. Beach cop. But I mean, beach like cop. they don't they don't you know, I mean, it's not like they sit there and wave guns in your face and say, hey, you know, like, you know, get off. No, the they beach, don't, they don't need to. No, well, that's the, just uh, it. What's this? Picture? Oh, and by the way, and by the way, every single one of those floors has a doctor. What? Yep. What? <clears throat> yes. Is it a hospital? No, it's just an apartment building, and every apartment building has a doctor. But on the downside, and I don't, and I do mean this, every floor so, on the hotel has a doctor. No, that's not a hotel. That's that's an apartment building. Or, sorry, every floor on the apartment building has a doctor. Is what you just? I think you just yeah. said. Yeah. Wow. And the re well, free rent, obviously. Yeah, that and partly also. Well, see, because they're paid by the government, and it's also the fact that, well, you know, I mean, this is, you know, I mean, I guess it's a slight on do on doctors down there too. But I mean, like, doctors don't get paid as well. You know, I mean, as a matter of fact. This is why every uh, everybody wants to be a cab driver down there is because cab drivers are the guys who make a lot of money. And just as a quick steer back to the uh, to the tour guide, both me and my brother each gave him like at one point they were like we'd only give we'd, we we don't he he give us given us a tour uh, to the Hemingway Bar, the La La Floridita, yeah, the birthplace of yep. Zachary, yeah, and. Um, uh, and then we told them when we pat him on the back and like, listen, see, they, we, you know, we much appreciate, you know, you know, like, uh, you know, but like we can take it from here and plus, uh, it's like a plus, you know, a, you know, like pointed to the bar and like, yeah, I want to go in, you know, like, but, and like, so we, we brought him in, we, uh, we, you know, we bought him a, uh, bought him a daiquiri, you know, and then, uh, and then we, and like, but like, you know, we can take it from here, you know, but, uh, uh much thanks, you know, and like, so we, we each gave him 20, uh, 20 bucks. That is the monthly, um, yeah. A monthly UBI of yeah. uh, universal basic income of anybody yeah. in Cuba, you know, and he got it twice. And not only that, he still had half, he still had half a day to go in and earn more money from the more, tour. Yeah. Good for yeah. From the, from the touristas, you know, and like, and then meanwhile, me and Rob were just like, we went to the, uh, we went to the base, base, baseball game at, uh, uh, again, uh, I met it's nice. you know, did, did you read uh, this already? Uh, Rod from Daniels, or is this new? Uh, I remember reading it actually. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, and yep, yeah, and that's it. This is the former uh, former maf mafia club, which is now the which is now the government run Tropicana Club. Yeah. And it's a big tourist attraction, and they make a you know a fair living. Huge and the tourist attraction, and man. the performers are top notch. It's it, they're top notch. Like the best oh. show I've ever seen in my life was in Tropicana. Oh, and by the yeah, way, yeah, yeah. Um, so after I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what a, uh, what your show was like, but my show um, after they were done, 
they came out uh, the all the dancers came out in the crowd and then they invite anyone who wanted to go up there and dance with them was uh, f- absolutely free to so i did oh no i yeah I, yeah I and unfortunately my brother he claimed he was going to get some pictures he didn't uh, uh which well i know because like i know because that's you well, no, because like when the uh, when the when the main when the lead dancer up there, you know, noticed like, hey, this guy can really cut up groove, you know, which I yeah I could, you know, and then uh, uh, and then I dropped and did the splits. I dropped and did the splits, and then like the whole crowd, Whoa. the whole place just blew uh, blew up. You're a big man to do the splits. The, I was told that afterwards. Yes. Yeah. Power bomb. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you, Fun Stark of Iron. Yeah, well, good to see. You. It, it is when yeah. you do it. Yeah. Uh, Susan Suzanne Eckstein says, "West Kegel, you've always been so kind to me, even when others weren't." <laughs> William Shakespeare Spielberg says, "I suspect and hope you've all grown closer since then, Susan Eckstein." Yes, I think so. A good reminder to us: be thankful for what we do, uh, what we do have, uh, while we have it. Agreed. Always, that, that's a story. That is the that's spirit of uh, Easter, right? That and Stark of Iron. Thank you for being here. Thank you for yeah, being thanks, here. Thanks, man. Very much. Uh, Stark, we need to you to sing the song, "Put the rum in the coconut and drink it all up." Actually, that would be <laughs> fitting. Uh, that would be Cuba. And do you mind reading no. this? And I will. Oh, wow! The chat is. Yep, we have uh, an active chat. Susan Eccleston, I've always tried to live by the idea of never being unkind first. Be kind to everyone you speak with until they are unkind to you. Then all bets are off. E I I I I I I'm sorry, I gotta disagree with that. My personal feeling on that is a stoic response, which is uh, uh <clears throat> excuse me. Clear the front. Yeah. Um. Really? What? What do you take issue with this? Or, or what? Not take issue, but what? What? What do you differ? Uh, my response is uh, the best revenge is to be unlike he who performed the injustice. Ah, so if they do something, you do the opposite. Basically, you Go know. I mean, just don't, just don't do. You know, it's, you know what, it's just like, it's the old, just don't get into it, you know? And then like, and then in fact, try to be, try to be better than them, you know? Ah, it's, okay. Yeah. De- depending on know? the, okay, depend, I would agree with that, with, with the caveat, it depends on the circumstances. If you mess with my family, <laughs> all bets are off. But I, I, I get it. You're saying, Yep. That's I get the, it, but I mean, like, I get it again, but I mean, like, again, it's it's so the old. You know what I mean, like, who's teach the your family in the tight black pants, uh, Rod? Is that why you took the photo? I get, I get it, but I mean, like, te- I, I'm just gonna say, teach your family. Uh, look, uh, this is nothing on on anybody's skill, parenting skills, or anything. I'm just kind of like, no. set a better example for people. That's all. Oh, Those and by the way, nice oh, well, the biggest. Pineapples. That's there. Now you noticed what I was really looking at. I could care yes, less about I, that. Look, I but, know. I got you. Yeah. I got you, buddy. Uh, the Chica was cute. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, like, no, no, no. And by the way, those are actual alcoholic drinks. Those are not yep. al- alcoholic Rub drinks. Those are alcoholic pineapple. pineapples. Fanta. Man, every pineapple should be alcoholic, if you ask me. <laughs> William Shakespeare, yes, you might as well finish the bottle. But um, I'm not a... Well, you know what? No, I am a good uh, person to take advice from. <laughs> huh. Hey, right. pleasant mm-hmm. fellow picker. Uh, very PVP. glad to have you. PVP. PVP. Uh, Rancor Steve, thanks for joining us. Um, anyone who's been to Cuba, uh, if you want to join in for part two, just send me a DM and you will be more than happy to join Rod and I. <clears throat> Um, I don't have any more photos, so if we want to do a, a, a part two, we're going to have to get some more content. Uh, waiter, there's a butterfly and several oh. flies in my dip. He gets charged five extra for the extra meat. 
Really? Oh, that's funny because I thought it, I thought I'd sent you more, but uh, yeah. Well, I guess you suppose you probably went through them all. I, I did. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Susan and X team. Although I would like to do an, uh, you know what? If we did another show on Cuba, Rod, maybe I, I might. Um, uh, what do you think? Maybe maybe taking on the political angle with just a few photos and really talking about Cuban politics. I mean, yeah, that might be an interesting uh, thing too, especially since, I so. as I said, I, yeah, as I said, well, I mean, like, you know, I gave you that little history lesson that, uh, yeah, uh, Fidel, I didn't uh, know that. Uh, Fidel, <clears throat> Fidel was, that. Uh, yeah, Fidel was, uh, uh, was ten years old when he convinced the uh, the workers on his dad's sugarcane farm to uh, uh, to demand better wages. Like I say, needless to say, say he was grounded. Yeah, no kidding. Canada does have an interesting uh, history with Cuba. You're right, uh, PVP. Castro wasn't perfect, but Batista wasn't much better. And Batista, that's the wrestler, right? No, 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 no. See. Um, Foglencio Batista, uh, President F uh, Foglencio Batista. Yeah, I don't know anything about him. What, who, who's he, Rod? He's the one who uh, Castro deposed, and he actually fled back to America. In fact, Foglencio Batista was not even—he's not even Cuban. He was actually—he oh. uh, uh, was Dominican. a Spanish, uh, Spanish, uh, Spanish American plant. And by plant, I mean the uh, the American government put him in uh, put him in charge. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you What do you reckon, uh, PVP? Uh, the answer to his question here: Does Cuba ever allow their cars to be exported out of the country for big bucks? Because they would sell for big bucks. No, they uh, would. Depends on how much money you have. I don't think it's legal. It's not even that. It's the fact that Cubans are proud people, and they yeah. won't. Uh, they would. They wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't. Yeah. You, know, you couldn't. You couldn't. It's like you a could generational vehicle. You could. You could. Uh, no. You could. You could uh, they offer them a million it. bucks, and they'd be and be like, nope. You know. I mean, like, there's a there's. Uh, I have I have a. A documentary seat a DVD that I put together myself actually that. Uh, uh, I should probably buy another uh, DVD recorder so I can re-re-re-record -re -re -record it. But uh, it's a really it's a really cool uh, uh, re really cool disc. It's got uh, uh, the Wonder List with Bill Weir when he went down there. Uh, uh, it's got Anthony Bourdain, uh, uh, No Reservations. I like Bourdain. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. And, and, I like that guy. PVP, yeah, you're not thing... that old. You're you're. Just a few years older than me. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you got Anthony Bourdain parts un, uh, parts unknown. Then it's got the booze traveler. Then it's got bikinis and boardwalks. Then it's also got, and this is what you want to see, um, uh, the Canadian government uh, or uh, sorry, CBC put together a uh, one hour, uh, a one hour tribute to uh, Fidel. What? No, you're joking. I won't say you're okay, fucking say, joking. Uh, did they well, really? Re uh, well, okay. Let me rewind that. Not tribute. <laughs> tribute, but I mean, like one-hour documentary on Fidel, and like that's that's actually where some of the where I got some of the factoids on uh, uh, okay. Fidel. That's a oh, nice building. There, see, What's there. that building? You never fucking no. See, you never uh, you never brought it up. See, see, you're skipping some, man. I, this is, uh, this I downloaded in the order that I I tried. I I'm doing the best I can here. I wish you could have. Oh, thanks. Um, no, I, no, you're doing fine. Uh, this is oh man, this I'm is a classic building. <laughs> this is a, this is a this is a classic building, man. Uh, what what is this? It, what are we looking at? It's the Hotel Nacional, and the biggest Hotel thing you know. That's right. Yeah, how do you how do you not know that, man? Just right on the other side is the Malicon, which is the uh, I think it's like yep. at least a five mile stretch of uh, along the along the ocean front, a boardwalk. Yeah. If you, Malicon yeah. means boardwalk in English, basically. Yeah, yeah. And next time I go down there, I want to get my get me get myself doing the splits on the Malicon. That's a something the thing I completely missed the last time I went there. You should. 
Yeah. Mr. Angel <laughs> says, Pleasant Valley, the greatest genius ever in the field of optics and light refraction, was a man blind from birth. He understood light so well he could imagine color without ever having seen it. I wow. believe that. I'm not wow. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Wow. Uh, Tony Stark, you and I both love Harry Belafonte. And when I go huh. on Jedi Bill, Jedi Bill is in the chat. Uh, folks, if you haven't sung karaoke with Jedi Bill, I highly recommend it. I love to sing karaoke with Jedi Bill. Uh, Sometimes they'll just I, turn it on just for, yeah, I just, only, just to listen to it, even if, you know. Exactly. But I only sing Harry Belafonte. Huh. Well, because it's, I can't sing. So if I sing those songs, like everyone joins in. Well, actually, I think Jedi Bill would tell you this, but I mean, like, there's one time I, you know, I came on, came on, and I was a little bit uh, hosed myself, but I, I'm like, who cares? Karaoke is destroy this song, night, like, you know? So I'm like, you know, and, and like, uh, Tom, Tom, I'm sure you can ask Tom about this too, but like, I, you know, he chuckled. Like, yeah, Tom there Connors. was one, uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, and this one song, I uh, I sung it like Hulk Hogan. I forget what song it Ooh. was. I don't know. Yeah. What Hulk, well, you did an impression of Hulk Hogan to sing it. That's impressive. Yeah, singing. <laughs> that I've never heard him sing. Uh, Pleasant Valley <laughs> Pickers, uh, CA, a, a uh, neighbor see, yeah, of mine. See, he, see here's know, a beach uh, thing. Beach scene. PVP is only an hour away from me. Heading to sleep yeah. soon. Was listening to one of my. Power pop playlist as too tired to do much else. Well, you can listen to us as long as you want. Hello, Canadian Spider Man. Hey, Jedi Bill. Uh, Jedi Bill, man, you're. I, I look up to you. Um, you know, you, you're you're one of the guys that has been around for a while. And yeah, we both do, man. YouTube stuff and yeah, yeah. Rod, Rod, and I both look up to you, Jedi Bill. So, um, cheers to you, man. Thanks for yeah. being here. If, if yeah. Jedi Bill is coming to check out what I'm doing, you know, we're, we're, we're obviously doing it right, uh, Rod. We're doing something, yeah, definitely. Right? Uh, yeah. If I did the splits, I'd need stitches. <laughs> so, PVPs, yeah. I'd probably need, like, some bowel reconstruction. Yeah. <laughs> PVP, good night. <laughs> uh, I'm in bed already. It's 1 a.m. here already. Night. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's midnight. Oh, we just hit midnight. Uh, sleep well. Well, one o'clock. Yeah, me. Jedi Bill. Of course, I see you, man. Jedi Bill, you're goddamn right. I see you. Um, you're you're one of my favorite people. And uh, if I can blow a little sunshine up your ass, I'm happy to do it, buddy. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, that's a New Brunswick expression. Uh, Ninety-nine percent of folks are okay. You're right. Most people are good people, given the chance. No, I agree. Agreed. Uh, real life, I'd never really meet jerks. Huh. Yeah. Good. That's good. Excellent. How about the hot Cuban women do not touch? Uh, Rod, why do you... Now, did you go to Cuba? I, I did go to Cuba single. I was single. Okay. Oh, fuck. I can't... Okay, am I going to go here? Yeah, I'm going to go here. Fuck it. I went to Cuba <laughs> with my high school sweetheart, Rod. Mm. <laughs> oh, you bastard. We were 16 when we fell in love and did the whole high school thing for two years through high school. Her father taught me how to use wrenches and how to be a roofer and how to do anything physical. I didn't know anything of that. We're going to need some Okay, I guess this. I'm not sure. I yeah. And um, so we, we, but you know what? I'm, I'm friends with all my exes. Um, I mean, I never want to live with a woman again, but I, I certainly don't <laughs> hate women. I identify as Meg Tao, but I certainly love women and I'm friends with all my exes. And so uh, 20 years after we had broken up, uh, uh, she, you know, we're in constant contact and, and uh, not like that, but, uh, she, you know, she's a good friend. We always should have been friends. Uh, yeah. And she sent me a message saying, "Hey, um, I really need to get out of here. Let's go to Cuba." And I said, "I've never been to Cuba." Okay. So I quit my job <laughs> and we went. 
And wow. uh, as as you do, you know, I did that all. I've done that four or five times. And um, huh. you just have a job that you're not scared to leave. That's easy. And so we went, and uh, it was fantastic, man. We had a great time. But and going through customs, it, that was awkward. Going through American customs, the Americans ask you all these questions, like, "Are you guys together?" You're like, yeah, "Are you?" And it's like, "No." Well, she's my ex girlfriend from 20 years ago. It's like, what? Oh, yeah, we're not. We're still friends. I mean, you know, <laughs> it was weird. And they put us. Oh my God! They put us. <laughs> they had a single bed, and we had to change out. So we wanted two separate beds with the swans. Uh, yeah, yeah. it's weird. But anyway, uh, Cuba was fun. I don't even know why I got into that. Cuban women. Oh, that's why I got into that. Um, if not a big. Oh, Rod. Yes, please. Oh, Sean that again. Industrialist. Yeah, okay. uh, how do I do solo layout? There we go. Oh, cool. That is the Havana ball team. Yep. Baseball team. Industrialist. Oh, and uh, uh, also, <clears throat> while we were sitting I'm trying, there watching. TVP. I'm trying. I'm not an expert here. I'm trying. Say, oh, and good night, we, Jedi Bill. We, yeah, night, Jedi Bill. Good night, Jedi. Oh, and Bill. while we were sitting, while we were sitting there, uh, uh, sitting there watching the game, uh, one of the guy, um, one of the Cubans in front of us, and like we'd seen, could see he was, you know, plainly Cuban because he spoke Spanish. Also, he turns around and he says in perfect, he says in perfect English. You know, he's like, he said, you know, the industriales. Uh, uh, pitcher and catcher are both Canadian. They're from Toronto. And again, what? It just, it just, and we're just kind of like, crazy. Oh, shit. Yeah. No one. Huh. But no one. I was just uh, like, hey, hey, man, you know, like, come down there. And, you know, like, and then we would have gone right down to the, near, near the bullpen and like, hey, hey. That's great. You know, and, uh, he, he showed his name out. You know, but, <laughs> yeah. Who's, who's, this is your photo. Who's this fella? Jose Marti. Who's he? He's the guy. Uh, he's the guy who actually like uh, advocated uh, building the Malecon, which a lot of people uh, put it on America, but it's no, it's actually uh, um, Jose Mati himself. And the Malecon is a but is a boardwalk on the beach. Five miles. Yes. At least five, I think it is. Every Mexican uh, coastal city has a Malecon, uh, which is a boardwalk along the beach that you walk. Some of yeah. them are different. Some of them are more developed. Yeah, uh, Jedi Bill, we definitely see you, my friend. Jedi Bill, we definitely see you. <laughs> yeah, um, you're you're one of the fellows I look out for, Jedi Bill. When you pop up on the stream, uh, everybody takes notice. Uh, he's, yep, yeah, you're you've been doing a lot longer than I. Excuse me, than I have, my friend. Yep. Uh, do you mind reading uh, Susan Eckstein's uh, photos? And I'm gonna. Or sure. read her photos. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind reading her photos, uh, Rod, <laughs> that'd be great. Uh, More rum, uh, Steve. More rum. Matanzas. Oh, there it is. Matanas. Matanzas. Yeah. What is that? That's, uh, that's the town. Uh, that's the oh. town, which also has their, yeah. That is a really cool uh, baseball. Uh, I didn't get around to reading that, actually, but, uh, you yeah. know. Well, no, um, I will. I'm, you were talking. Yeah. Let's talk about oh, one just, thing at a time. Matanzas. It's it's a town of about seventy thousand people, and a uh, town, I should say, city, uh, and um, pretty sizable too. That's bigger uh, than the but, capital city of New Brunswick. <laughs> yeah, sixty-five. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, it has uh, you know they have their own baseball team too, and then like I said, the ops, I want to get their ba uh, I want to get their baseball shirt, you know, which is you know. Said a really cool picture of a crocodile, you know, like lining up yeah, with a baseball yeah. bat. You know, How many baseball teams baseball do you bat. think Cuba has? I believe they have at least eight. Holy I think it might shit. even be. It might actually no. You know what? I I believe it's up to like either sixteen or twenty-one. I I I'll have to look wow. it up, uh, look into it again. But yeah. So, uh, do you mind reading Susan Eckstein's? Yeah, I'm off, Spider Man. It's one a.m. Good night, uh, good night, panel and chat. Peace out. Everyone, thanks for coming up. Yes. Yeah, we're going yes, on three hours now. Yeah. 
Uh, Pierre uh, Trudeau actually attended his father's funeral. Yes, he did. You're right, PV. No, he's got that backwards. Huh? He's got that backwards. Uh, uh, Fidel Castro oh. attended Pierre Trudeau's ca uh, funeral. He was in the news, even. Right. Big time news. Yeah, that's right. I'd love to go to Cuba, says uh, Pleasant Valley Picker. Dude, yeah, there are a lot of streams going on. Uh, yeah. Spidey, if you ever want to do BC stream, I'd love to do. Oh, abs. Okay, Pleasant Valley Picker, you're on. I've got photos from Whistler that. Yes, <laughs> let's do a B a British Columbia stream. Absolutely. There's a lot of people that come to to visit uh, British Columbia. I Holy shit, to... Gary M. Brewer just here. Hey, Gary, no how way. you doing, brother? Really? I'd be sober, Dude, of course. To do well, I would hope so. Uh, PVP. Holy shit, he is. Hey, hello, uh, Gary Ambrosia. <laughs> yeah, we're just going through some uh, Cuba photos. Uh, we finished with the photos uh, from my vacation, and now we're going through Rod Thunderhearts. Uh, Rod Thunderheart, this, these are angels. That's in the cathedral. That's in the cathedral. That's just yeah. again like the angels of mercy. Like you know, like. Good to see you, Gary Ambrosia. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Yeah. <clears throat> Glad to have everyone here. Thanks for being here. Uh, yeah. Been so uh, Pleasant Valley Picker says uh, baseball is big in Cuba. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, it is. Yep, actually, that's an would, understatement. That is an actually, understatement. <laughs> you would you would actually you actually you would pronounce that baseball. The baseball, yes. Yeah, yeah um, that, um, that that would be oh, their, their baseball, national sport. baseball, and like uh, oh, with like the two dots over it. Ooh, who's the girl with the high stockings? Is that in the Hemingway bar? Oh, that's yes. in the Ernest Hemingway oh. bar, isn't it? Oh my God, in those Havana. women are oh, oh the wow, oh, God, Hello. they're so dreamy. They're still dreamy, and they're around my age too. You can see so, but like uh, our age, know. yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. oh, and this is uh, so. This is the the see, work there you go. Doing. There it is. Yep. Club Tropicana or tra uh, Tropicana Club. This is the this is the stage off to the left. Now that man looks like he has a pole coming up from his genitals. That's supporting a woman who's doing ballet on the top of the pole. And I saw that yeah. in real life. So that's a real thing. I saw that with my own eyes. These acrobats are, f there's nothing circus with the stars or America's next acrobat has nothing. Uh, America's yep. next talent or whatever they want to call it. 100%. That's a yes. cool truck. That is oh, a very yeah. cool truck. I don't know even where the hell was. I just like that's a cool. That's exactly what I said. I'm like, oh, I need a picture. Yes, you do. Uh, thanks for thanks for being here, everyone. I really appreciate uh, yeah you joining. We both. That's, uh, man, that's a lot. Thunder Heart and I uh, talk about Cuba. Yeah, we have some fantastic stories about Cuba. Yeah, that so you went, uh, you went to Cuba with your brother, and how how fun Twice. was that? Oh, really fun. And you know, by the way, I bet you never did this at uh, uh, Verdell. Uh, we. Oh, actually, you'd be surprised what uh, I do, my friend. <laughs> it depends on, depends on what you're. Well, you're not talking about it. So, uh, and you didn't bring it up. So I'm pretty sure you did not go to the Pirate Cove uh, taverns. What? I don't know huh. what that is. See? What do you mean, Pirate? That's just it. Pirate Cove taverns i like all three of those words actually i'm sorry not i, I don't know what, uh this is cuban um, dancing pirate, is that uh, some girl cove. on your hip uh i think so yeah i think if is that me i, I can't even tell if that's me no, I was, I'm the chunk, to that's a, in trouble with your current girlfriend <laughs> that's uh by the way that's the channel that's uh, right, uh that's right beside the the old fort that goes under the ocean. Yep. 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 Yeah. It is a channel. Yeah. Yeah. But um, getting back uh, to what I was, 
I want uh, getting back to the Pirate Cove. Uh, there are Pirate Cove uh, bars, actually, uh, clubs at uh, not far from. Uh, you'd have to pay. You have to pay uh, the cab drivers. You know, we took a lot of a Russian. <laughs> it's a it's a Russian tax Russian car Russian taxi. Okay. And uh, mafia. Uh, yeah, um, uh, and, uh, we went, we went to a pirate cove and, um, uh, it's seriously, it's an actual bar in a pirate, in an actual pirate cove. And no, I and, never... damn it. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, I you didn't... barely touch a surface going there, man. I, I know. Hey, man, okay. Man. Well, let's go back to Cuba. We can live stream. Um, <laughs> uh, I Live stream probably not but from like, Cuba. They probably have yeah. severe internet restrictions there. No, they don't actually. The, every every year, every year, oh. it's getting better and better. These are that's you have a puzzle. You have one of these very puzzle boxes in your possession, don't you? Those are all wooden, handmade. I'm gonna. Uh, those are school. well, no. Those, uh, I can bought you show three that? puzzle. Can I you bought, show that? I, I bought three puzzle boxes. Nice. And uh, I bought yeah. three model cars. Uh, I bought several Castro yes. hats to to yeah. give out to me. Um, and um, oh, wait, where is it? Yeah. And then, uh, and then of course, the Havana Club, which I still have to this day. Good night, all... Gary Ambrosia. He says, night, Gary. Hit the sack. Have a good night, everyone. Uh, thanks, uh, Gary Ambrosia. Thanks for popping by. Have a good night. We're just talking about Cuba. If you want to hear more about Cuba. Oh, yeah. No, Rod, what was that? No, I'll, I'll make you big for that. Uh, make oh, you man. Big in oh, three, man, two, and one. Havana Club at no, El Ron de Cuba. Now, Ron, R O N. Is not a man's name. It means rum. That is Cuban for rum. No, I was going to say, look in the mirror. Or a mirror. Look at uh, there. See it? This is the, this is that shirt. Yeah, that is the very same shirt. Yeah, it is. Hey, uh, good night, to Gary. Good night, uh, Suzanne Eckstein. If you have to leave, thank you very much. We're just having a yep. pleasant, uh, friendly discussion about Cuba. Yeah. Now, now, Rod, I, I got to ask you because for some reason, people seem to think that traveling around the world is dangerous. And one of the questions I often get: Did you feel safe, or did it feel dangerous? You know what, folks? I've never felt. I've never felt more in danger than. I've never felt more in danger. No, I've never felt in danger anywhere I've traveled. No. <laughs> You've never felt I was trying to, I've you, never trying felt to in day anywhere I've traveled. And Cuba definitely. No, Cuba, because people respect the law, even though they have no civil rights, they at least adhere to the law. It's also that they have they were weird. they have family values too, right? So they're more tra traditional, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, Suzanne Eckstein is in heaven. Apparently, she died and went to heaven. Can you read what Suzanne Eckstein had to say, Rod? I'm in bed, PVP, eating potato chips and drinking Dr Pepper. Lol. <laughs> yeah, so she's in heaven. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Rod, dude, you're top heavy. How do you not fall over when you walk? <laughs> That's because you got to have strong legs to hold up that upper body. You do. Holy shit, dude. I love that shirt. I did not buy a shirt like that, and now I feel like I'm a loser because I didn't buy a shirt like that. And actually, if you look at it, it look if you look at it closely, it's actually very close to Captain America's. I was going to say. Yeah, I thought so. I've had more wow. than a few people say like, oh, and this is that classic street. There's a classic street that's like not too far from the Hemingway bar. 
um i forget what the hell the, what this place is called but like they outlined it on um uh bikinis and boardwalks uh because uh oh, the afro <laughs> the uh the afro uh, the afro cuban com uh, cuban community they decided uh one of, i forget there's a prominent artist uh street artist who did, and like i don't just mean paint uh, paintings they did like sculptures and everything and it's this entire street has been well, transformed how do you freehand into how do you freehand this shit keeping all the lines of text i mean they must have some sort of laser in the like a, a construction laser that would Hi, <laughs> dude. Or like a level. I don't know. That's yeah. impressive. Stark's right. Uh, don't hit the wrong sack or it'll be very Stark hard of to Iron sleep. says, don't hit the wrong sack or it'll be very hard to sleep. Although I don't want kids, I also do not want to be hit in the nuts. Oh, man. No, not at all. Well, other than the Middle East, I'd feel safe. Yeah, I've never been to the Middle East uh, PvP. I've been to every continent. I've been to every uh, place. Well, I haven't been to Egypt or Greece, and those are probably the two things that are still on the bucket list. And actually, Ukraine. Well, I did want to go to the Ukraine, but I guess that's going to have to hold off for a little while. Well, the number one thing when you're traveling, no matter where you go, it doesn't matter whether it's Cuba, United Perfect. States, or any, or or um, Europe, or anywhere, is do not look like a. Uh, first of all, look uh, look the place up. Exactly. Know where you're going. Know Be where familiar. you're going. Do not do not carry maps and do not look like a right? fucking tool. That's it. Don't look like a tool. And that's the. You know what? The same is in Canada, uh, Rod. Don't go to Vancouver, right. Toronto, looking like a tourist. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially wow. there. Yeah. That's yeah. You know exactly. By the way, you still never got uh, you. I don't suppose you probably didn't get around. Well, no, so you haven't. You haven't said anything. So I'm guessing you haven't gotten around to uh, uh, to three days in Havana. What's three days in Havana? Is that a movie? The movie. The movie. Remember, no, I sent you that trailer. I don't have. Dude, I haven't even, I haven't had time. Oh. Uh, Pleasant oh. Valley Picker PVP says, my cousin and his wife just did Cambodia, Vietnam, etc. Well, I can finish that. It's not etc. I'll tell you, you start in Thailand and use the Thailand as a base. And then you go to Laos. And then you go to Vietnam. And then you go to Cambodia. And then back to Thailand. And that is the perfect backpackers, backpacker uh, circuit. Because you can take a boat down the Mekong from the top of, after you go through the water festivals in Thailand. Huh. Yeah. It, that's a whole nother stream, but yes, uh, good plan. That is a very safe um, backpackers by the, by the hundreds, by the thousands from every different country go through there. And these people, they don't fuck with us because they know that they want, they need our support. They need tourism dollars. They're not going to screw with you. They're not going to do anything that would jeopardize more tourists coming to these places. These places are totally safe. Um, just don't be an idiot. It's the same as the same rules apply for downtown Vancouver, downtown Toronto. Don't be an idiot. Oh, and I wanted to mention, by the way, that hey, the, thanks, uh, Suzanne Eckstein. Yeah, Hotel Nasty and L also has the Wall of Fame. They did Europe and Japan before that. Yes. Uh, I'm too old for kids, but still try to keep my nuts safe. Yeah, that's a good plan, PvP. They made money years yeah. ago and now enjoy your retirement. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on that. Oh, I made money way. years ago and I spent it all on travel. Oh, by the way, I didn't even realize that Volvo made uh, uh, trucks, let alone um, cab overs. And I'm a truck Volvo driver does. myself. Uh, oh, I know Volvo. Volvo. I know Volvo. I like Volvo. I know Volvo. Isn't I know this Volvo a Volvo does. truck right here with the flat cab? I know Volvo does, but uh, uh, Volvo also, uh, yeah, but they don't bring their uh, cab overs over here. No, no. That's, Look carefully. That's... No, go go back. Look carefully. Look at the uh, uh, look at the uh, look at the hood. What does it say? Says so VW. Huh. Yeah, see? 
And Rod, Next. if I'm not mistaken, I think we're back to your first. There your you first go. Picture. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't include. Uh, I know you sent me a lot of photos, and I I edited them for edited them for time. Ah, see, there's the waterfront. Yeah. Oh, I don't say that. Here, I'll be too old for travel, and I can see that's why I did all of my travel when I was young. We'll see what happens, but no, I don't think so. PVB. See, um, places like Cuba. Uh, places like Thailand, they're not going to be overly expensive. I don't, I don't and not just so. that. Hey, as I said, this very hotel, you know, I mean, like 534 for one week, all inclusive. And if even if you don't leave the bloody resort, 534 that's $534 Canadian for one week. Yeah, that's and as I said, even if you don't. It'd go anywhere or do anything and just sit on the beach and, and uh, sip margaritas and sip margaritas, man, you'll know, have it. a blast. That's it. I, I couldn't yeah. agree more, Rod. So yeah. thanks for sharing your photos with us, buddy. Oh, sure. I'm, I'll try and dig um, up my other do one. You have, I don't have anywhere. Like, I'm done. This is this is the end of the, the, the Cuba photos. But – um. Hey man, I still have no more time. Got, I have some, no obligation. I've got a, I've got a few other ones. Do you? Not as not not that many, but you know, probably about I don't know, probably about 15, 20, I hope. Look, I can just look on my computer. Uh, what do you mean by this uh, PVP? I should do it. What What do you mean? Yes, you should go out and do Cuba I'll or, fear or I'll somewhere be too else. Old to travel when I can afford it. Hey, no, like travel's to, amazing, man. PVP, I'd like to also point out, too, that uh, uh, when we were down there, we met uh, uh, Richard uh, Richard and Linda uh, 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 Boots, and they actually, and my point being is that, uh, you know, I mean, like, they're much older, you know, I mean, like, you know, like, they're, they're like, they got grandkids, and guess what? They're traveling. You know why? Because they can. And you know, because you know what can. else? You know what else? Cuba is like probably like one of the safest countries you can go to, just because it's so much fun and like, man. I, you know yeah. what, Rod? You're right. When I left the resort in Cuba, and it's not see, I've I've stayed in resorts in in Jamaica, and if you leave the resort, like you're in you you better. You better not leave the resort, basically. In in well, you better be carrying a you better be carrying a gun or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, just be don't be dumb. But but in Cuba, <laughs> you can make mistakes and get away with it because it's Cuba's not so desperate as some other <laughs> places. You know, I, I don't. I'm not describing this correctly, but I've I've traveled to some. I've traveled to twenty two third world countries and second world like underdeveloped countries. Yeah. And, and and the thing that people are always like, they're nice and they, they want to help you, but they're always like, I'd like a tip. I'd like, you know, five dirhams or I'd like some money for what I say. And Cuba, and you're always on guard. You, you can never relax. Yeah. You're not like Mexico or Canada or America. You can just, you know, or Portugal, you can just breathe out or Australia. Hey, Rod, nice Cuba, shirt. Cuba, I could exhale. Cuba, I could relax and enjoy yeah. myself. There's some countries where even if if booze is cheap, I won't drink. I'll stay sober the whole fucking time because, like, you got to be on your guard the whole time. Mm -hmm. Cuba's not yeah, like yeah. that. The Cuban people seem to be just yeah. they oh. just want to have fun. They just want to enjoy life. They just want to live and. Man, yeah. bars are open twenty four seven. Man, you can be walking right. down with, and we did. After after the uh, Tropicana Club, which was that show was still like about one or two in the morning, you know. And then we took the cab back to. Uh, well, we all wound up going to. Uh, it's right outside. No, uh, I'm not that, saying that. That's why I, they were out. The, those pictures were right outside the hotel Nacional. You know, and because like then we walked down the street, and then like we went from bar to bar to bar. To bar you know. It was fun. I, I would say Cuba is safer than Jamaica. Yes, I would, uh, PVP. Um, Dominican Republic, I've been there. Oh, 
but again, just a, at a resort, I didn't see any issues there. Um, yeah. You know, Jamaica, I was part of a carnival cruise. And, and while I was on the carnival cruise, it, it was all fine. But I've talked to many. Can you see Jamaica happens to be a popular uh, tourist destination for Canadians? And I've talked to quite a few. Uh, I have talked to quite a few Canadians that have gone to Jamaica, including a good um, one of my favorite uncles, uh, Uncle Greg, has been there. He's got business dealings there. It, it's not that it's not safe. It's just you can't be a you can get into more trouble if if you're not savvy. Let's let's. And then the other thing too. Is, I mean, again, yeah, like it is more. Like, I guess yes, it is more dangerous than Cuba because Cuba people don't fuck around in Cuba. Really? Well, there's no. Well, the other thing, there's no crime. There's no mafia. There's no uh, criminal uh, criminal enterprises there. So yeah, it's just the government. Same as in Canada. Criminal well, organizations. <laughs> less so uh, less so there than here, but less so there. Maybe hundred percent. Hundred percent, Rod. So yeah. Rod, how tell us about this picture. Like how long did you stay in there? Did you get you didn't they didn't let you start the car, surely to God. Well, actually the guy said if I wanted I wanted this drive around in it. Well, I mean, like he uh I mean obviously he'd come along, but uh but uh he said, uh, "That's a nice car." Uh, I, I said, "Yeah," but I mean, like, and like, really, I only had. Uh, well, you know, you know how it is. Your brain is just kind of like you, you, you don't want to spend any anything to. Um, I mean, I would have, uh, I would have loved to have taken a cab ride around with them because, yeah, that that's a cab, you know, really. <clears throat> uh, but you can uh, hire it for sure. Yeah, and not only that, but I mean, like, this is the it's one that Bill right. Weird. Yeah, and also this is where well, it's not it's not it's not very. I mean, it's it's not uh, well, it's cheap, but it's well, it's not it's not too cheap, but it is cheap. You know, I mean, like you could give him like twenty bucks and he'd give you he'd give you a ride anywhere, anywhere. And um, man, your arms uh, are massive in that photo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, uh, this is the exact same car that Bill Weir drove in. Uh, in uh, Wonderlist, I even tagged him uh, uh, this same picture uh, on him. Uh, uh, tagged him in uh, on Twitter w uh, with the same picture, and he liked it. Nice. Uh, I wish he'd have said something, but no, well, no, still, yeah, because it, it was it was the exact same car that like he's actually filmed in uh, driving on the on the coast of uh, well, not far, well, on the on beside the Malecon. Oh, and uh, interestingly enough, there were some uh, – um, uh, uh, I'm just going to say uh, – just going to say tourists at, at the okay. – um, uh, they were they were walking down the uh, – walking down the Malecon, and they were uh, – and then they started singing uh, – they started singing uh, Cuban, uh, Cuban Pete. I couldn't. I just kind of like. What's Cuban? Yeah, see, I, you've lost. What's Cuban Pete? The song from. I don't know um, that song. From the mask. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. Oh yeah, no, the mask yeah. is like twenty years old, dude. I can't. Yeah. I mean, Jim Carrey, obviously, I love that man. But yeah, yeah, yeah but guess what? That's an American song. Cubans have no idea what the hell that song means. No, probably not. And so the like no like uh, there were some uh, probably uh, there's some uh, uh, there, uh, there were some tourists just coming down uh, walking down the Malecon and they're singing they're singing that you know and then like Cubans were looking at them and like what the fuck is that you know. <laughs> like, so I know because I, I I I know well I know because I get the context, but I also know that uh, Cubans are completely unfamiliar with that song because it was it was made after the revolution and also it was made in America, not in Cuba. What's uh, what's your what's your thoughts on on Che Guevara and I don't has he helped Cuba? Has he? 
has he not helped Cuba? Do we have the wrong image of him? You know, I mean, a lot of people. Re everyone wants to revolutionize. You know, a lot of people. Uh, okay. Um, I don't want to go too, you know. Uh, but I mean, like, I will say that. We're, uh, Todd, dude, you can go as political as you want on this channel. Fuck YouTube. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, but I mean, like, I'll say this much, and that is that had he not existed, Cuba would be right up there with Puerto Rico. Meaning that they would probably be slightly more modern, but uh, do you really think that's more modern when you look at uh, what happened to uh, Puerto Rico after the uh, after the hurricane? You know, with Trump tossing out uh, paper towels, you know, like it was some sort of game, you know. And then remember how long they, how long afterwards they were without power. It's you know you, uh, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not slighting like Trump people or anything. I'm just saying that like his behavior at that particular rally just wasn't very presidential um I, what, do I, I, him? I missed do I him? Do no. a rally with che Guevara. i missed that no i'm talking about when uh after the hurricane when they moved supplies to uh puerto rico right trump uh, trump oh. accompanied them trump accompanied them and anyone who's even the least bit interested in uh, po uh, politics, politics and everything would know would immediately realize. Okay, all he did was look at this and say photo op, photo op, photo op. Oh, uh, okay, like every other politician. Uh, yeah. Suzanne, oh, thanks, Susanna. Susanna Eckstein. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. Daniel's hot talks says the mask is thirty years old this year. And Jim Carrey wants to do a mask. Excuse me, too. Uh, okay, folks. Rum gives you hiccups, apparently. <laughs> um, really yeah, I, I don't. I think that ship has sailed, personally. I don't know. I don't see why not. I mean, like, fuck, man. Like, I saw him I in... Mean, uh, I guess. I mean, Maverick. Didn't you see... Didn't you see <laughs> hey, man. Hey man, didn't you see him in uh, uh, Sonic? Who? Jim, you didn't see Jim Carrey in Sonic? Oh yes, I did. Yes, yes, he was actually the perfect person for that role. Yeah, absolutely. Holy crap, man! He's the only person who could do that. Um. Well, do you okay, think it's too late good. for a mask sequel? Yes, I do, Rod says no pleasant valley picker ca says if batista stayed in power how long could cubans been slaves how yeah. long would cubans have been slaves um they would just shut up and put up with it because if they had real backbone they would have stood up before so they have they'll just uh... take Cubans will just take what they're given and they will just take it and take it and take it and ask for more apparently when before Fidel took power, same as Canadians, uh, he, actually. <laughs> before, before, before uh, Castro took power, uh, Cuba had a forty-seven percent literacy oh. rate. After Fidel took power, well, after he had he'd established for him, uh, Cubans have a ninety-eight percent literacy rate. Who's measuring that, and based on what? I would say you could all you'd have to do was just simply go out into the public and talk to them, really. And uh, most of them speak better English than you. That's why in, I say in I mean, Cuba, you're we, you're probably right. Yeah, because me yeah. and my brother were sitting there at a baseball game, and uh, all we heard was people talking in Spanish. Then all of a sudden, one guy turns around, and he and like we'd seen him talk in Spanish before, and suddenly he turns around and he speaks to us in perfect English, and he says, uh, he says. You know, our uh, 
uh, our pitcher and the catcher are both uh, from uh, from Canada, Toronto, Ontario, actually. And Ooh, like, okay. yeah. So right there, that tells you first of all the education. You can just tell. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is what I'm trying to say. You know. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. PVP says, well, Cubans are cool and they know that if they cause trouble, the government will step in. Eh. Yes. And that doesn't make me feel better. That actually makes me feel worse. I want less government, not more. Mm, I, well, I, it's, it's less of that. And just simply there's, it's no point in having crime down there. If, if, you know, I mean, like, yes, the government's powerful, but it's, I mean, they're all in the same government, boat. We already, we already, first of all, we already saw that. You know, I mean, like, the beach cop, he doesn't, uh, doesn't have any, uh, doesn't have a gun. You don't sit, no. you don't sit, he doesn't sit there and like he threatens you with like an AK 47 or anything. And, like and that. does he go and have to deal with like six drunks? No. No. I mean, man, that's it. Me and Rob were walking down the street in like three, four, uh, three thirty in the morning. And like, uh, you know, and like outside the bars, and like all we saw were a bunch of happy people. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Nope. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're absolutely right. Uh, Trump I mean, was a chump. Uh, PVP. I don't know. I I'm I'm split on that. Me too, to be honest with you. And like recently, I don't, I don't agree with everything Trump says. Obviously, um, yeah, me too. But I like him because he can't be controlled, and I actually think that he yeah. might be more honest than the people in power. Yeah, like just because he doesn't give a shit. So that's anyone that is hardcore against him. You know, I'm not completely. You yeah, know, I mean, like you said, nothing's I, I, ever a hundred percent. It's, it's yeah. more like th there's degrees. So yeah, I, I've got no. Hey, man, if if someone like Trump wants to come in and stir up the stir up the old boys in power, I have no problem with that. Do I like everything he says? Absolutely not. Is he? Is some of the thing? Are some of the things that he says right? Yes. Are some of the things he says stupid? Yes. Same Absolutely. as me and everybody else living on this planet. Yeah. I, I don't think he's the bad guy that people. However, don't... again, you're, you're not wrong. Oh, do you read uh, this valuable service uh, <laughs> service announcement from season X team? Suzanne X team. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go puff a spliff. To help some sleep, lol. Good, good plan. Uh, spliff means there's tobacco, tobacco in it, though, right? In Canada, does it? A spliff. I... Well, a joint is just pure weed, and a spliff has tobacco in it. I don't know if it's the same in Alberta. Really? Because I've got an old comic book that was actually made by uh, uh, a guy in Red Deer, and he drew illustrated them himself, and he printed them up all by himself. And then, so what's and this is in, this this in is the later. Yeah, and it was uh, and it was uh, Joe Split, and like the the implication was uh, I mean because remember this is now the eighties, so like it's everybody weed. would would yeah, a, a spliff was was uh, was a joint weed. Well, yes, it is, but as see, I I have a lot of Quebecers around here. A spliff <laughs> has tobacco in it. A, a, a joint is pure weed. A spliff is fifty fifty. Depending okay, I think of okay, maybe maybe a spliff is meant to be, you know, like disguised. Yeah, yeah, right? Like you can't tell. Is there weed in here? I don't know. It's mostly tobacco. Yeah, exactly. Uh Daniel's hot top. Do you mind uh, Rod? Can you please read uh, the the next uh, one? Sure. If you, if you don't mind. Yeah. On February 4th, day after my birthday, uh 2024. Ace Ventura celebrated its 30th anniversary, and Ace Ventura 3 is in development. No shit. There was a second one. Yeah, you didn't I see it? There, there was. was. I thought there was. I, it there wasn't was. memorable. It wasn't memorable. 
No, it wasn't. It was it was kind of one of those eh, forgettable sequels. You know, kind of like see, Rock. kind of direct, direct kind of kind of direct to DVD kind of thing. But, you yeah. know what I didn't see uh Rod Thunder in Cuba was graffiti. Really? Because I did. You saw graffiti. Oh, okay. Other than the political like political statements, but there wasn't like young punks no, I'm talk- tagging shit. Or no, I'm talking there? about the. No, I'm talking about there was shit, man. Oh. I even saw like, I even saw the Flintstones, man. Shit. Oh, okay. Uh, Pleasant Valley Picker says Cuban politics are too complex for me to talk in chat. Hey, they're way too complex for us to talk about. That doesn't stop us from talking about them, Pleasant Valley Picker CA. So if you yeah. want to put ever whatever you want to say, put it in the chat. We'll read it. Yeah, yeah, put it in front of me or read it, eh? Yep. <laughs> the anchor man. <laughs> anchor man. Huh. PVP says Cuban healthcare is better than the USA, I often hear. He's um, absolutely right. No, he's right. And you know what else? Pending, Here's something yeah. you probably you probably did you probably didn't know this either. Uh, this was even in the news. This I don't made know the main hospital. I lived in this, America this for made, a year, but I didn't go to the hospital. This 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 even made the mainstream news, by the way. Cuba has an approved cancer cure. Yes, yep, yeah, I believe it. But it's All more have... efficient to manage the cancer, isn't it? Um, what? No, it um, no cure it, like cure, like actual cure. Yeah, but they won't make that public. Uh, they. They kind of did, but it was just still just kind of like one of those obscure news stories that stuffed down in the f- thing. Like it, it fell down in the ether. <laughs> this but... See, this is the kind of group. These are the people we attract. Suzanne Eckstein says, I love Trump. <laughs> PVP says, I hate Trump. That's fine. We can all be friends here. It doesn't mean that one person's right and one person's wrong. We No, it's be you know what? what? If you put your if you were trapped in a sub, you know, okay, Suzanne Eckstein and PVP. If you were trapped in a homemade submarine under the ocean, you would become friends pretty fucking quickly. And that is the human existence. Yeah, no, we can all be friends here. And as long as people, you know, I only have one rule. Like, you can say whatever the fuck you want on my channel. I don't think YouTube's ever going to monetize me because of what I've said. But um, as never long as never. people, well, no, fuck them. But if as long as people uh, just treat people um, the way that they want to be treated, it's kind of the golden rule, really. Yeah. I mean, just assume that the other person you're talking to is a human being. Just assume that the other person you're talking to. Deserves a little bit, or not deserves, but um, will respect you, and therefore you should respect their opinions and just listen to each other. You know, yeah. we can have. I mean, Rod and Rod and I have ninety eight percent of the things in common. I mean, we're Canadian, but two percent of the things, Rod and I probably could not be farther apart. I yeah, so he respects me. Yeah, and the same with this chat. As long as we respect yes. each other and just show yeah, exactly. like, be adults, you know. that's, yeah. that's all I ask is <laughs> if you come here, just like I, yeah. I'd love to hear what you. You know what? If you have something to say that's different than I have, bring it on. I don't want yes. to live in an echo chamber. Rod, do you want to live well, in no. an echo chamber? No, no, no. No. Fuck no. Yeah, exactly. Wow. 50, 98%. That makes all the killing okay. Uh, oh, I missed that. I think you might be talking about those earlier Hitler remark. Oh, I missed that. Uh, you didn't miss much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, killing of humans is bad. I can. I think we can all. Everybody here wants to live. 
everyone who wants to live, put up your hands. Everybody who wants, you know, freedom and peace, just you do your own thing. Put up your hand. I think most people do. <laughs> right. Hmm. Yeah, well, no, no kidding. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of history. Trump lied too often to me. Also, that yeah, every other polit I mean, do we want to count the lies of every other politician? Uh, yeah, they see? all lie. Yeah, okay, and we're fine. And you both can be friends. You both and you know what? You know what, uh, Rod? If if yeah. if if Pleasant Valley Picker was was had a flat tire on the side of the road and, and he hates Trump. Suzanne Exton could be driving by, and I guarantee odds are she will stop and help Pleasant Valley Picker change his tire or yeah. give him a lift or whatever he needed. Because that's what people, because we realize we don't all agree, but yeah. we're still all rowing the boat in the same direction, right, Rod? I mean, we yeah. just want to be yeah. free people who yeah, exactly. just want to love and, and, we want love and and we want to live life and yeah right yeah political all i mean you know holy shit rod if you asked steve me uh 30 years ago what he thought about politically oh my god the steve me now would beat the crap out of that guy like you're a moron <laughs> like literally yeah like I have, I would literally have fights with my own self because you change. Like, hopefully if you don't develop through life, if you don't change, then yeah. that's, that's a problem. Yeah. Anyway, Rod, uh, I, we've, we've come to the end of our discussion of Cuba. We've gone through all the photos. Yeah, as I said, I'm beginning to drop off myself. Even yep. mm -hmm. I, I think we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, <laughs> let's go through and pay respect uh, to the chats. Um, I love Trump. Uh, I hate Trump. <laughs> then you know what? <laughs> Suzanne, PVP, if either one of you were stuck on the side of the highway, I guarantee each one of you would stop and help the other. PVP, I know you well enough, Suzanne. I've been talking to you enough. Uh, each one of you would help each other. And that is what being a, a civilized person is about. Yeah. Politics does divide. Yep, it does. Absolutely. That's right. See, thanks, Suzanne. Thanks, Suzanne. Suzanne and PVP. Right. Like, like if, if Suzanne's house was on fire, PVP would be there with a fire hose. I fucking guarantee it. I know the guy. And and yeah. it is also true. Yeah, I just great. like all politics now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Me too. But it's kind of hard to do a Cuba show without uh, politics. My parents voted <laughs> off each other. That happens, uh, Suzanne. There you go. You're still cool. Exactly. Exactly. PVP and Suzanne, exactly. Exactly. Uh, we can still be friends and disagree. 100%. Yeah. yeah, I still think all the current political guys are jerks. Well, <laughs> it's hard to disagree with that. Um, oh, well, how could you know? Daniel's the... Hot Topics pulling in with a cool... Uh, do you mind reading this, uh, Rod? Huh. My aunt and Janice went to see... Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. See, that's the second one. She was offended by what she saw in the movie, and she walked out of the theater. Yeah, see, there's one scene in there, too, where, like, it looks like a rhino is basically crapping out Ace Ventura, but it's really like a robot rhino. But, uh, you know, it was hard to see at the, at the moment. And then, like, you know, even I, even, I remember that scene, too, and even then I was just kind of, ugh. Really? Yeah, I mean, okay, uh, okay, there. Uh, you, uh, okay, there, Jim. I think you kind of went to the well once too often, and maybe dug a little bit too deep for that one. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. 
Respect is the operative word. And thank you for bringing yeah. up that. The operative word is respect. Uh, PVP, absolutely. Yeah. And no, you know, I mean, um, there might be people older here than us, Rod. I, I maybe uh, Suzanne. PVP, I'm pretty sure there is. Got a big audience here, everyone. Um, but there's, you know, and, and I keep bringing this back to 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 relatives. And friends, close yeah. friends that I have, that that the last three years has divided us. There's no question, and that was intentional. Hey, you think that wasn't intentional? What do you think they're going to the last, started? the last eight years, really? At yeah. least, yeah, actually, okay. the last. Yeah, you could even say the last yeah. ten years. And, nine and years you leaked. know, um, you just gotta be a you rise above it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and it comes back to this rod. Um, yeah, I mean, you and I, we're, we have a lot more in common than we have different. Yeah. The same with uh, the same with PVP, the same with the uh, Susan X team. You know, yeah. if someone's house is on fire, I'm still going to go and help them. And so will PVP, he said as much. And so did Suzanne. And I know, yeah. Rod, if I needed you, you'd fucking drive 10 hours to come help. I know you would. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's even if you have different opinions, uh, we we yeah. have a lot more in common uh, than than. And see, isn't that the same with Cuba? That's fucked up because Cuba has a lot more in common with America than they have mm. different, and yet you have all these troubles. Yeah. Weird, eh? Yeah. And I'd really like to close the stream because I'm like really dropping yep. off. All right, we're passing out here, folks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being here, everybody. We it's are been a blast, to... absolute blast. I can't believe we've had you too, buddy. People. Yeah. Huh. Peace and love and butterflies, absolutely. Oh, William Shakespeare Spielberg says comment from a few minutes ago. If Cuba weren't taken over by Castro, I believe it would have been asked, invited, coerced, forced, pick your verb, into becoming a territory of the USA. Sort of like Puerto Rico. What do you I think, Ron? I kind of just finished saying that, remember? Uh, I said that uh, Cuba yeah. would have been Cuba would have been exactly like Puerto Rico. You know, before exactly, I got onto the whole Trump thing about Trump throwing paper towels. No, seriously. Cuba would no exactly. I mean, because that's well, that's exactly what they You're were right. before uh, Castro. Right, uh, uh, that uh, that uh, because that's exactly what was happening when uh, Castro saw uh, saw what was happening. You know, because he knew. You know, and you know what else? Here's another. Here's another creepy thing. People don't realize this, but what happened now is exactly what Castro predicted with uh, America. And it's happened right now. Wow. The, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the general, uh, the general public is passive. They don't know. They don't right. care. And they, all they do is just care, uh, care about the dangling, uh, jangling keys that are dangling in front of them. That's it. They don't care about that. Whereas see, this is what's the, di the difference between Americans and Cubans because Cubans are just kind of like, no, they're educated and they know, they know, they're you know, I mean, love them or hate them. I agree with uh, uh, with uh, Jay Guevara. <clears throat> An uneducated nation is easy to deceive. True. Let that sink in. I want to put a caveat on that. Yeah. Yeah, because education, we... not indoctrination. Oh, you ended the stream. Oh, yeah, right on. No, I didn't. No, we're still live. Don't take your pants off. Oh. <laughs> Not yet. You bet. You Not bet. yet. We're still alive. <laughs> no, indoctrination. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're right. Um, the education, yeah, that's a whole other stream, folks. All right, good night. We're tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good night, folks. No, we're going to end now. Yeah, Rod and I are going to go in to do this deep. Um. Uh, yeah. Tony, any anyone uh, who wants to reach out and be part of this after hour stream, you know the DMs. Yeah. Reach out. I'll send you the link. Good night, folks. Yeah. Thanks for joining us.
It's See y'all. Job. Hail Cuba. Cuba was so Rod. Um, Cuba not dangerous and a lot of fun, right? Lot exactly. You know what? Yeah. Not if you dangerous. don't you don't believe me? You know what? If you don't believe me, uh, have you ever watched the uh, internet today? I watch internet every day. No, okay. You obviously no, don't, don't know who I'm talking no, about. I don't. So. No, I mean the, no, I don't. I'll have to send uh, send you a link. Um, or right. well, link. no. Okay, first of all, look them up. There are these two guys from uh, they 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 were actually started under the Rooster Teeth. Ooh, um, okay, I know Rooster Teeth. Yeah, they were started under the Rooster Teeth banner, but then they moved on and were were kind of bought out into the uh, under the Warner Brothers. But then that was when Warner Brothers was getting too big, and they were just kind of like, "Well, what the fuck do we do with this shit? All this other stuff, you know?" Because like there are so many other shows under Rooster Teeth, and uh, Elliot and Ricky. Uh, they smelled where the wind was blowing, and they were just kind of like, you know what? Let's get out of here. So they turned around and they started. They uh, they they were on a channel called uh, ETC, Entertainment Tech Computers. Uh, and uh, and they basically they basically had their own form of a news show, and it's a really entertaining. Uh, it's actually really entertaining. Uh, probably my favorite of their. Of their show of their shows though is it comes on Friday night or Saturday depending on which however soon they manage to get it put together. Uh, week weekly weird news, which is it does it happens to be a lot of funny stuff from like all over the uh, all over the uh, United States uh, and actually this is another thing this this is another reason why they have massive props from me and that is that uh, they cover a lot of the news from Canada too. Nice. Yeah, yeah well, and they're Canada, not after a hundred years. Canada finally has some interesting fucking politics. It's about time. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's just it, you know. And um, so they uh, as I said, I mean, like oh, uh, West Cable Austin, says, Rooster Teeth is no more. Yeah, no, I don't know. That's what I oh, know. That's what that's yeah, that's, that's sort of what I was trying to say. Uh, that's what right, I was we're going to say talk about this behind the scenes. Good night, everybody. Thanks for being here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we'll oh, talk about God, this God. behind scenes. Good night. <laughs>